garbage. I am a clip, 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 getting a text and a clap. And then you got your face Twitch clip. Yum, 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 yum. Information. Ones and zeros never What's lie. Earlier. What Garbage. is this? It's Microsoft's Stop Excel. It. Get some help. <laughs> Can't do it. We'll do it live. If you didn't want to play them, why'd you come? We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I'll write it and we'll do it live! And Val I'm sorry. Just sorry. I'm 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 sorry. i am for families across the country. Jeff Bezos, the richest man. Wow. Why? 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 You committal is raiding with a party of 13. The Clartopus! Welcome your host, Maddie Two Shoes. Wow. That was something, chat. That was a journey and a half. I was just looking to start stream, but someone was looking to start something. <laughs> Rugmad's bot going absolute ham on the memes. I've somehow managed to fuck. Oh. Because I don't allow it to say the drop commands. It doesn't put commands in because I didn't want commands. <gasps> <laughs> yeah speaking of drop game commands. let's kick things off everybody drop Our in the messages. stream exclamation mark drop oh, i'm an idiot emote of your choice an emoji whatever you want to use you can use it gaston thank you starting the stream epically that's some serious drop game action going here chad Wow, wow, wow. Well, first of all, welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, everyone, to the beginning of what is the last stream. And thank you very much, everyone who joined in the beginning. Uh, let me just catch up here. Yoast was definitely not first. It was Jay Walter. Jay Walter, welcome in. And congratulations on being first. Steffi, not first. Great. Finite is indeed great. 14 months that is beautiful that is beautiful indeed that's amazing finite thank you i love this look at that 
It's like yeah. It's like uh, Maddie is yeah, just staying that's still me. in the middle of the oh of yeah the, uh, best clip of the panel as it scrolls best by best shout out clip ever. But he's kind of in so jail mad. or something because we see the we see the <gasps> bars. bars going across <laughs> the bars. Everyone has the Maddie Good gangsta stuff. emote Good or the Matta. Which one is um, it? The uh, wait, which one is this? Okay, let's. Uh, Maddie censored Let's bunny get back roll. To what we were working on here. Everyone who has huh. that one in chat, I want to see that one in chat. Everyone should have it. You're all subbed here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, lots of things happening. Lots of things happening. Let's catch up a little bit. Welcome into Steffi and Steve. Gaston, hi, I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for joining again, it's so good to see you again. Welcome in Rugmat's bot, and of course, Rugmat, thank you for joining the stream again. It's always a pleasure to have you here. <laughs> Who else have we got kicking around? I think I said hello to Sociable Steve. Maddles, thank you very much for the raid. Very, very appreciated, Maddles and your community. You are welcome. A lot of, lot of Maddles community is probably Gangs overlapping. Gangs be fighting words where you from. Ooh, fighting words. <laughs> fighting, they be fighting words where I'm from. Something like that, right, Maddles? Dynamite! Of course you get welcomed. Dr. Dynamite. I mean, if you want to see chat, like, my lurk reveal is just telling me pure vips right now. L literally almost everyone in chat is vip <laughs> it's absolutely incredible we've got chillaxathor uk dynamite steffi social steve exegete rugmat's bot and rugmat finite j walter yost uh ian ian alex hart and halifax and gaston the amazing Garbage. vips <laughs> oh no steffi why would you do that why would you why uh, why would you We've also got Sketch and Ched Dev and Forex and Rascal and plenty of other bots kicking around. Plenty of other bots. Uh, not that you people are bots, by the way. I wasn't saying that. That sounded wrong. Welcome to everyone who is consuming the stream in the method of their choice. I welcome all of you. Thank you very much for joining. That Irish accent is offensive. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Sketch. Is it a bit offensive to you when I do the Irish accent? I'm sorry that my ancestors couldn't tell me how to properly speak with the Irish accent. Also, finite. 14 months. That is amazing support. Thank you so much. Thank you also to Rugmat for those bits and Social Steve as well. I appreciate them. <laughs> I need to catch up on chat. I need to catch up on chat. Stream online. Well, medals. <laughs> That gave me 30 seconds to catch up on chat, so thank you very much. <laughs> That's very, very kind of you. Ah, oh, what can I say, chat? What can I say? There's not a lot I can say. Ultimately... Garbage. Exactly. That's that's pretty much it. Dems be fighting where he's waiting from. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I feel like we should use our channel points while we can. They don't expire, Yoast. They don't expire. Also, what's what's what is happening with my shirt? Anyway, they don't expire, Yost. They will stay there. And I am most certainly coming back to Twitch. I am most certainly coming back to Twitch. So you do not need to be concerned. Last stream before break, I wrote that in the title. I wasn't being super clickbaity like others have been in the past. I'm actually being I'm being straight with you, chat. Ah, uh, but apparently... DISAPPOINTED! Not enough for you. GDPR on. Garbage. So now I also need to protect my identity. 
apparently. You know those things don't stack, Sociable Steve. <laughs> so... <clears throat> hey Karen, and the whole of chat think you are awesome and thank you for streaming. Stay joined to the right, Mr. Two Shoes. Stay joined to the right. Am I going outside? I will be going outside. Maddie will also be going outside. Okay, good. I will tell Maddie Two Shoes that not stacking is fine, but Garbage. that sequential is fine. Um, welcome in TD. Very nice to see you. Welcome in Dr. Padawan. Very nice to see you here as well. We have double redeems for Cute Bunny. I will uh, I will refund yours, uh, Exegete, because uh, Steve's was there first. <clears throat> lining, lining up everything, chat. You're not even giving me a chance to explain things. UK, go enjoy your food, please. Uh, I'm trying to catch up on chat. Uh, there was a question. Hello and goodbye. There was a question. Uh, hello and goodbye to you, Karen. There was a question earlier. Last stream because of that thing. Ah, sketch. No, that is not the, the reason. Um, that is not the reason. And we will not be talking about it either. Just FYI. No, the reasons for Maddie going on break, I'm sure that he will explain when he is back. For the moment, you have me, anonymous streamer, 416. 419742 to accompany you for another minute or so until the command times out. I want to speak to the manager. There are no cute bunnies here and there should be bunnies everywhere. I'm very sorry, Karen, that you're disappointed. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. If you do actually want to speak to the manager, you're going to have to leave stream. That's the only way. There's no manager here. I'm sorry. Disappointed Karen Bonner. is a good Karen. <laughs> Bonne! Exegy, turns out that a valid US phone number, not so anonymous now. Oh dear. Have I doxed my own phone number? Oh my gosh, Yoast. Yoast. Thank you for that gift sub to Dr. Dynamite. Ensuring that everyone is subbed in chat, are we? <laughs> uh, Forex. The reason is that it's currently September. And you don't want to take advantage of it. Uh, no. Has nothing to do with September. If you would like to sub, you're more than welcome to, but you're not required to. I actually prefer that you would... Distort on. I would actually prefer that you donate on Patreon. Okay, the next... The next one is queued. Excuse me, chat. Cue funny on. I need to be cute for a moment. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna absolutely sound horrible to you. Like, awful. Awful. <laughs> I think. Look at this, you can see my microphone. It looks tiny. Go make a mind. What's in that head, yo? Hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. Wow. <laughs> Did your speakers break, Steve? I'm so sorry for that. It's chat's fault. Actually, it's your fault, because you, you wanted this. I'm not the one that requested this. I just give you the tools to, at your disposal. You are the ones that decide what happens. And I do not have a giveaway to you, Jason. I've never had a giveaway. I probably will have a giveaway at some point, but I do not have a giveaway. Um, yeah. No, I will talk more about the leaving. The leaving, the break, in a moment. I thought first we would get acquainted with each other, say hello to each other. Um, Maddie just wants to give us some info, we're too busy trolling. I mean, that's basically every stream, right? Let's be honest, you know. Your car tax came in the post today. Oh dear. Car tax? That sounds like something for Panther. With back seating. Rugmat landed for 93. Very good. Very, very good. Sketch, thanks for changing the lights. Did they change back? Yeah, I think they did. Wonderful. Wonderful. Chat, I hope you all had a wonderful week. 
my week was the single most hectic week in the last nine months. This week was the week that topped all the weeks. By far. So I'm very glad to be taking a break. I'm sad, of course, as well. Wow! I'm also sad to be not streaming for a while. But you know what they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. So hopefully, it will be even more enjoyable when I come back. I'm not abandoning you, TD. Not pulling uh, Batman's parents. Hectic week after nine months? Is this a big announcement? <laughs> there's no... There's no... There's no real announcement to be made, Exegete. Let's put it that way. There's no real announcement to be made. So today's stream, if you're not aware, Fridays is always Data Cafe. Which means we cover the week's news in data and tech, privacy, AI, machine learning, data science, all of the things that... Bunny's like. Bunny off. And of course, all the things that people like. Can someone do... Garbage. Can someone do red lights for me? We're gonna go with the next one. Peekaboo one. I mean, it's not as dramatic. It's not as dramatic when I'm sitting on a bouncy ball anymore. You know? It's almost like... You know? I mean, if, if Jason was bouncing around, I just don't think it would be very intimidating. And thank you for throwing paper balls at me again. I appreciate it. Is the ball helping Maddie's back, though? <laughs> yes, it is. It is, most certainly. The ball is great. The ball is amazing. I love the ball. It is extremely comfortable. Garbage. <laughs> extremely comfortable. Um, some people do get annoyed by it, though, on calls. Because I tend to bounce around a bit, because I'm not used to it. I tend to bounce around. So I have to... I have to pace myself, you know? I have to pace myself. That's... that's... Ultimately, that's what I have to be careful of. Uh... So chat, I hope... Yeah, tell me all about your weeks. Um, let me catch up on chat a little bit. Tons, tons of stuff in chat. Wow, it's so busy today. Yoast, you can finally get some side project coding done on Fridays and Mondays. I'm glad that we could liberate some time for your projects. That is, of course, good news. It's red light, green light, isn't it, TD? Yellow light, what's... is it like for the Squid Game thing, right? I think that's what you meant. And no sketch, we're not going to the red light district. I promise. Okay, I promise. Um... Forex. Do I hit the mark when I say it's for a startup? A friend of mine took the last 14 days off from anything to do with his electrics because he nearly burned out. <laughs> Is that a pun? Forex? <laughs> Is that a pun? <laughs> burned out from cabling things? Um, TV, there won't be any finished side projects. There will be a main project. Um, there will definitely be a finished main project when I am back, but it will be very obvious. It, it will be something that you'll notice right away. I promise you. Definitely. Peekaboo off. Yeah. It will be very obvious what I have done. And I'm going to tell you about it too today. 
I'm not going to leave it up to the imagination. I'm not going to clickbait you into joining the stream or doing other things later. I'm going to give you the information. I'm also going to post some of that information on Patreon. Some of it will be public. Some of it will be private. If, uh, you know, if you want to see behind the scenes during the break, then of course, uh, of course, Patreon is a good way to, to see that on the lowest tier. My faith in data, um, information, ones and zeros never lie. It's true, ones and zeros don't lie. Streaming for dummies, Maddie. <laughs> I don't think we'll be that harsh, Yoast. Since it's the last stream for a while, I think we should get the 12 hours of CSS on FCC today. No, Steffi. We shall not be interrupting Friday's rhythm of the Data Cafe. That's just not gonna happen. Um, I see there are still more redeems to be had. <clears throat> Let's... Uh... Let's cover this one first, again. Are you sure about that, Rogman? Apparently I have to protect myself again. You know, the problem with the redeems... Let me just protect myself properly. I need more protection. GDPR on. The problem with all of these redeems stacking is that they all take... They all take three minutes. So... Now, during, during that time, if people request more GDPR, if people request more vision trouble, if people request more of those things, then we are basically permanently in this state and not in the normal state. Um, it's not about interrupting. <laughs> Seriously, Rahman. It's not about... <laughs> it's not about um, interrupting, Steffi. It's about the flow about the flow and it's about available time constraints very simple so chat maddie has told me a little bit about his upcoming break uh i'm not sure if i am in a position to talk about it chat do you think maddie would be okay with it i don't know i feel like i'm here to protect maddie's Garbage. identity and not you know and not like divulge more personal details about his life it's a bit awkward isn't it she, she. yeah it's a bit awkward what's also awkward is twitch is telling me that i need to run an ad on maddie's stream so unfortunately those of you who are not subbed will get a short 30 second ad now but don't worry nothing's really gonna happen <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong, Steffi. That was the third time. Indeed. It was indeed the third time that you've used garbage in a offensive way. Um, well, anyway, I think Maddie would probably be okay with it. I don't know, chat. I, well, let's just roll with it and see what Maddie says afterwards, right? Let's just roll with it. Um, so Maddie has told me the most important thing to remember is that this is not the last stream forever. Maddie is most certainly 100% guaranteed coming back to stream on Twitch. Barring some kind of new, I mean, it's barring some kind of, what do they call them in insurance terms? When there's like those huge events, what do they call them? I can't remember what they're called significant events or no well there's a, like an official term i can't remember what they are there's like an official word for those things yeah like catastrophe like GDPR. actual catastrophe well we're gonna keep this on for a while now active nature act of god well i don't know about god but active nature act of something act of something uh, Rogma, I'm just, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna refund you two of them. We'll do them later if you like again. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, barring like an actual crazy something happening that is completely unforeseen circumstances, I will most, Maddie will most certainly be returning to Twitch. 
It is, however, as Maddie has told me, uncertain why? what why? exact why? date that will be. Why? 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 <laughs> Wait, why can we hear GDPR on or off? So I didn't change that. Maddie didn't change that, I shouldn't say at all. Um, it's just that sometimes the music covers it up a lot or a lot of things are happening so you don't hear it. But it's most definitely not hidden. One more last stream confirmed. Yeah, it's been that way for a while. Um, I think Maddie actually enjoys the fact that those notifications go through to chat, <laughs> that you, that the stream hears them. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it could be something that gets optimized in the very near future. So there will definitely be a stream again on Twitch. There's no problem. Maddie is not leaving Twitch. Uh, but, but the return date is still approximate. So the current date of return for Maddie's next stream will be Friday the 30th of September, which is in three weeks. That's the current planned return date. That may change though. Um, it probably Garbage. won't become, <laughs> probably won't become earlier than that, I'm told, but it may be later. So it is three weeks from today. And now I'm sure you're all wondering, why is Maddie taking a break? Well, I think Maddie should probably tell you himself, I think. So GDPR off. Look at that. It's actually me. It's Maddie. Did you miss me, chat? <laughs> ah, 12 hours CSS on FCC confirmed. I don't know about that, Steph. Garbage. I don't know about that garbage, exactly. You will find if you find an anonymized Maddie three shoes on YouTube Live, you'll definitely have to think something is up, Yoast. I will not be streaming on YouTube anytime soon. The experience is not it's not great. Am I, de <laughs> am I being deported? No, I am not being deported. Fractal. Amazing. Um, so let me tell you, chat, I will put on my most serious face as possible to tell you the news. Are you all ready? I will tell you why I'm taking a break. Assuming you want to know, that is. I don't know. I don't know if you want to know. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's not interesting for chat. Maybe you're all just showing up here to hear the news and that's it. I don't know. Uh, what? Hmm. What? Maddie three shoes what? won't stream on YouTube, but what about what? Maddie four shoes? Hmm. That's true. Who doubled the amount of shoes? Who doubled the amount of shoes, chat? We could have twice as many viewers, right? That's how it works. I think. I think that's how it works. <laughs> Big brain. I need to randomize the distortion. Am I going off to learn about right join? Excellent. Get out. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm not going anywhere to learn about Riot Join. The only place I would learn about Riot Join is in prison. Because that's where people go who use Riot Joins. Everyone knows that. Uh, did you get drafted to put the holes into the cheese? <laughs> Bad Cop, welcome back to the stream. Nice to see you again. Uh, very serious. Very, very serious. <sighs> well... In a joint or, or GTFO. Chad, it's very simple. It's very, very simple. I will be very upfront with you. My startup currently has five weeks of runway. Garbage. Yeah. Exactly. What is runway? Runway is the ability to stay a positive, cash positive, meaning you are spending less than you have in the bank. So we have a certain amount of money in the bank that will cover one more salary run with a few more incidentals. But as of mid-October chat, we will not be liquid anymore. We will be 
we will be insolvent. Now, we are not panicking, just to be very clear with you. I, we, are, we are very aware of this. This was the plan for the last 10 months. This is not unexpected. We, 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 we spent exactly according to plan at exactly the rate we wanted to spend. So it's not a surprise at all. What is surprising is that I wore these glasses for that. <laughs> um, five weeks is like 10 years in startup land. Thank you, bad cop. Um, yes. And what kind of solvent are you in? Kerosene, WD-40, alcohol? No, we are in solvent, <laughs> meaning we do not have any cash anymore, in case that wasn't obvious, but I knew that you knew that. Um, and how's it going is the reason for the break. WD-40 also just pure, come on. It's WD-40 or duct tape, chat. There's no, <laughs> there's no, there's no other choice. If it should move and it doesn't, it needs WD-40. If it moves and it shouldn't, it needs duct tape. It's that simple. It's not, it's not complicated. Engineering is very simple. Um, so how's it going is the reason for the break. For the last nine months, I have been full time with my startup at the same time. I have also been streaming here on Twitch. I have also been doing some side projects. I have also been working on some other things as well that you don't know about in the background as sort of backup plans. If things don't work out, making connections. I am lecturing at two universities, for example, like there's a lot of stuff happening. And essentially what it comes down to is time. It comes down to time. And right now, in the last five to six weeks of our, potentially our startup's life, let's say, I need to trim everything. I need to trim everything that would give me A, time, and B, focus. And unfortunately, Twitch is a pretty big block of time. This week, I streamed three times. I streamed on Monday, streamed on Tuesday, streaming today. That's uh, nine to 10 hours of content plus the prep, etc. That's easily 12 hours that I could have used otherwise. Probably sleeping, to be honest. Runway two to three months, you can have two to three years startup life. You only have money for a few months each time. Still, a startup has to be kind of hungry. Otherwise, 50 plus startups have passed under my hands and we've sold a few successfully. Very good to know, Forex. Trimming the beard. <laughs> we didn't buy enough subs. It has nothing to do with your support chat. Although I appreciate your support as always. All of the patrons, all of the subscriptions, everything that you do so helps that little bit, right? It helps pay off some of the domains. It helps pay off some of the little costs that I have. And of course, I like to give some of that back to you as well through subscriptions to your channels. If you're streamers, I try and do that too. Uh, but I've had to rein that in a lot. I have had to rein that in a lot. I will not be shaving. Let me make that very clear right now. I will not be shaving. I've had a beard for close to eight years and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's, it's just not going anywhere. Um, we are shooting right now, chat. I can't divulge too many details. A, because it's completely unclear still. Like we have been iterating on a few things for the last three to five days or so. Uh, so basically like this week and last week, I guess we've been iterating on a few ideas, my co-founder and I, and we started testing them out already. Um, and we're basically pursuing two different strategies. One is earning revenue now, uh, where we wouldn't need to pursue investment as quickly, could even possibly cover our salaries with that. And then maybe even go for a larger investment round a bit later or using current, some of the current tactics to build a stronger foundation for the investment case that we're currently looking for. We are still looking for investment, but we don't think that's gonna pan out so quickly. Um, not only because of the economic environment right now, but also just the case that we present currently isn't super attractive to a lot of investors right now. 
So that's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. Would I shave for one billion dollars? Yes. I would shave for one billion dollars. And then I would, uh, and then I would let it grow back again and keep the billion dollars. <laughs> 500,000 channel points for shave the beard off. No, it's not worth it to me. Mm -mm. I'd much rather you spent the channel points differently. That is a lot going on, .NET Craig. Thank you. Do you find yourself getting frustrated with trying to get to everything? Always, always. And I had to make peace with the fact that basically going full time as a founder means discarding probably 70% of the things you want to do. Because you can only focus on probably 30% because you don't have time for anything else. And then you have to do everything imperfectly. You know, being, being a perfectionist in a startup is impossible. You have to be... You have to be satisfied with things being unfinished. You have to be happy to send things out that are incomplete. And you just gotta, you gotta get to the point of getting feedback and iterating on that feedback. That is the most, most important thing. Not only in terms of product, also in terms of pricing, also in terms of messaging, marketing, even investor search. You gotta, you gotta like, you, you just gotta continually tweak, Craig, you just, yeah. Forex, don't worry. You haven't experienced the stress of having 130 people and not knowing if you're going to close or not, and that repeats every three months for two years. We would obviously aim with our investment round to buy us around 18 months of runway. Six, 14, 14 to 18 months. We would not want to be in a situation of having to fundraise every three months. That's certainly not. I think spending discipline is the number one thing to look out for. Not only now, it was always the case. And we are very, very, very conscious of spending. Extremely conscious. Um, I don't know why that is for us in particular, but we're just very conscious of that. That's why we've been able to stick to our budget over the last nine months. So, you know, uh, I don't think we would want to be fundraising every three months. We would definitely raise enough to have, to have that sort of 14 to 18 month window. Um, seeing as the fundraising process itself can take several months each time, you'd basically be permanently, you'd basically be permanently fundraising. <laughs> um, but <laughs> jokes on you, Jay Walter. I wouldn't even accept your billion dollars. Although maybe I would. I would accept Bezos' billion dollars. That's for sure. If Bezos wants to give me a billion to shave my beard. Absolutely. Um, exactly. Bad cop. MVP. One hundred percent MVP. In everything. Uh, minimum viable uh, product. If anyone doesn't know the term MVP, but it applies to everything. It doesn't only apply to the product. Nice. <laughs> Bad cop, thank you. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. I appreciate that. Um, you have invested in me, and I appreciate it. You are an investor. Uh, you haven't invested in my startup because you're not getting any shares, unfortunately, but you've invested in me, which is basically the better thing anyway. Fractal, I hope you have some good social support during this time. My founder partner sometimes says I'm the only thing keeping him going with dinner and support. So my co-founder and I, fortunately, we went through, I would say we've known each other for eight years. And when we started full time, we entered a completely new phase. Uh, of working together. Working full-time together brought up completely different things, um, but we moved past them. We worked together to move past them and find common ground and do something amazing together. And we are now in a place that I can really happily say we are in an amazing place as a team. And it really shows as well. People, com people comment on it very often. When we, when we pitch or present somewhere, um, or when we talk to people about our startup, even in a very informal setting, like at some kind of meetup, people are like, wow, you two are completely in sync. And it's true. It's really true. We, we've, aligned, wow. we've aligned on everything. We've aligned on vision. We've aligned on what we want for the team. We've aligned on every Cardona aspect and, of ice cream uh, Mayor Bowser uh, and as well. Berbin. Of course, a lot of it you is know, about food chat. Of course, well. we're a food startup. And for families across the How could we not talk about food? I've eaten some of the most amazing meals of my life in the past nine months from the community chat. Um, 
boss fighter welcome in nice to see you again too very very glad to have you here so yeah um and th i cannot i cannot actually overstate the importance of team not only towards investors and stuff but just operationally speaking when you're running day to day when you're trying to figure things out if you don't have to tippy toe around things it makes things way faster as well we can give each other direct feedback say i don't want to talk about that we don't talk about it good team photo very stock photo-esque <laughs> So yeah, things are, overall, things are good. I mean, there's of course a very large amount of uncertainty about what's going to happen, but I'm basically giving myself the best chance. Um, I know that Twitch is important to me. You are important to me. Hence today's meme of the day, chat. Haven't, have, you haven't seen it yet, have you? There's always a meme of the day, chat. And the meme of the day is this one. I don't need to say anything about it. Twitch is important to me. Twitch is a great place. You are all so, such a big part of what's going on in my life. I could not envision stopping to do that. But, but, I have to prioritize a little bit the next few weeks. Hence, henceforth, whose chat is he pointing at? We're over here on the right. Yeah, yeah, it's the other way. It's the other way. It's mirrored. It's mirrored. All good. My chat is on that side. My chat is on this side. So I know that all of Garbage. you will be... <laughs> Come on, Steffi. <laughs> I know all of you will be completely understanding. Thank you, Yos. I know all of you will understand. I know all of you will support me. That's why I have no issue taking a break. I feel even I feel even empowered by you to take the break chat. All of you would tell me to do it. What? Steffi's on garbage fire. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Steffi's always looking out for the perfect moment. They're able to judge, you know, the the delay of the stream. I'm pretty sure that they're looking at uh, different uh, statistics to know what the delay is like so that they can time the garbage perfectly. But yeah, um, just basically betting on myself for this one. Um, but no matter what, I'll be back. I will be back. So that's that's about the break chat. If you have questions, of course, I'm happy to answer them as far as I can without breaching confidentiality. Um, if you know of investors, <laughs> if you know of investors, uh, thank you for unfollowing Steffi. I have seen your unfollow. Would you like to refollow then? I implemented an unfollow alert because it's it's important. I'm not doing it at all. It's just a feeling. <laughs> um, if you are wondering, yeah, if you if you do know investors uh, that would be interested in the food tech space, we are. I don't know. There's a few different ways to say it. Um, democratizing access to food. Uh, creating a employee engagement platform. There, there's a lot of ways to, to, to spin it. That's right, Forex. That is my startup. Thing. Sketch can invest. What's the return on investment on 25 euros? Unfortunately, the minimum buy-in <laughs> is a little bit higher than 25 euros. And we're not taking euros. <laughs> Uh, but yes, in Switzerland, that would get you about one cheeseburger XG. Thanks for the bit, Ragman. Appreciate it. Uh, Fractal says, have you run into investors where they just give you a bad vibe and you back away? That has happened once until now. Fortunately, fortunately, um, fortunately, it was, uh, it was very obvious from the start. So we didn't go very far. So we didn't waste a lot of time. But uh, yeah, uh, fortunately, I mean, Switzerland is a bit of an island, right? Let's not forget. Switzerland's a bit of an island. So we are protected from a lot of those things that happen 
across the pond, as I would say, or even in other countries in Europe. We tend to be a bit protected from that. And Steffi, the unfollow alert. Did I learn this from another streamer that I need to have that? No. <laughs> and I would never implement that. You want to unfollow, go unfollow. I don't care. You don't even need to follow to watch the stream. I really don't care. I haven't even hit a thousand followers. I've been streaming for over a year and I don't even have a thousand followers. I, I do not care. It just doesn't. It's not important to me. What's important to me is everyone here. The ones who are here right now and everyone who's part of the community, you are you are what is important. Some random follower number just doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> um, Forex only knows fintech investors. Yeah, we're definitely not a fintech. Definitely not. Uh, bad cop to your question about investment minimum. I mean, if it's a legitimate question, then we can definitely talk about it. Um, but the sketch, you're, you're probably not far off. I mean, we probably wouldn't take anything less than 25k at the moment i'm guessing just because of the effort required to invest and the documentation and everything and it's a it's a huge hassle to take on a ton of tiny investors um you only have us dollars you can convert them it's just not a very good deal at the moment bad cop so i don't recommend doing it also bad cop you should have access to a custom bit badge uh for the 1000 bits you should have the uh the 1k you should have the 1k bit batch i think it's this one here uh oh that happened to your partner fractal the investor was from switzerland super sketch Ooh. okay unfortunate uh very unfortunate sorry to hear that uh yes exegete switzerland is not in the eu Oh, it's an emote, not a badge. Right, right, right. Excuse me. Thank you, Ragnar. Um, yeah, we're not in the EU. We are in the EEA, which is the European Economic Area. When we are in Europe, but not the EU. Switzerland is sort of like New Hampshire. Live free or die vibes. <laughs> You can make badges. <clears throat> really? I'm not sure actually, can you? I'm not sure if you can make custom bit badges. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. It's probably in my backlog somewhere. New channel point redemption for tiny investors. <laughs> Now I'm imagining small, small people running around stream are like, I'm a tiny investor. Ah! Next, you're going to tell me the UK is in Europe too. Yeah, uh, let's not go there, Steffi. So chat, you're amazing. Everyone here is amazing. Whether you're listening, watching, chatting, lurking, however you're consuming the stream. Banana time. I fixed the drop as well. It doesn't black out anymore. So now that's enough for now about break. There is one thing that will happen on break that you will notice when I come back. And I feel it's worth mentioning because it's kind of a big deal. Oh, thank you, Ragnar. I, I had a feeling there was custom bit badges. And yes, Ragnar, you are correct. Garbage. <laughs> Capital of Switzerland is Bern. Most people don't actually know that. Dying my hair blonde? Uh, no. Dot net, Greg. <laughs> I have I have so little hair as it is. I don't think I want to mess with it. It would be funny to freak out the IRS by moving a bunch of money to Switzerland. <laughs> uh, so, Rogmat is correct. I will be rebuilding my entire stream setup during the break. <laughs> Cherish that hair. <laughs> I'm cherishing it. I'm cherishing it. There's a lot of problems with the current setup. I've been through them before. The brief summary is there's a new version of OBS, there's a new version of the streaming software I use, 
Um, my current OBS version has a lot of problems in it that I can't seem to get rid of. I would like to add a ton of new improvements to the stream. I want to make a ton of it into content for other people on YouTube. And I want to change a lot of things to the physical space as well. And yeah, basically everything has to change about it. Everything has to change. So I will be rebuilding it entirely from scratch. There may be streams here and there um, in Discord. So if you are interested in behind the scenes, I will be adding more lumens, of course. We won't, we won't have 90 million lumens. We will have something like 111 million lumens. But we'll be doing some tests, um, various chit chat stuff in the Discord, because three weeks is a long time. Three weeks is a long time, right, chat? Three weeks is a long time. But uh, we will be... There will be occasional pop-up stuff in the Discord. Will there be any unboxings? I have to think, Jay Walter. I'm not actually ordering a lot of new things. There is one thing that I will be ordering that will be unboxed, yes. And I know, Jay Walter, you're quite excited about unboxings. You had a little unboxing of yourself this week, didn't you, in the Discord? I was there for that. That was very exciting. Jay Walter got a new, a new laptop. But yeah, we'll be we'll be doing some shenanigans in the Discord. Um, it'll be good fun. Are you on Twitter? I would write you then, possibly around MC Bratislava. I am on Twitter. Yes, uh, I do have I do have Twitter. It's uh, Maddie Two Shoes. Same as same as uh, same as my Twitch name. I don't have a Twitter command. It's not that important. I don't really do much on Twitter. Um, Forex, I actually did. Um, I did write a message in Measure Slack that I'm going to be driving to. I'm going to be driving there but right now. If someone clipped this, it would be me watching a clip of myself that was uh oh, that was T. Drayson shouting me out on my stream, which which um, Steffi shouted me out last time, which played a clip of my stream, which in that clip, someone had done a shout out of White Panther, which played a clip from Panther's stream, which in that clip, oh my gosh. White Panther shouted me out, which played a clip from my stream, where in that clip, I shouted out T. Drayson, which played a clip from T. Drayson's stream, which in T. Drayson's stream, the clip that played was Twitch clips could become a thing. And as we see, Twitch clips are a real thing. Congratulations. Wow. Now that, now that is something because that one hasn't come up in a long time. That one hasn't come up in a long time. <laughs> yeah, that, that one hasn't come up in a long time. Um, I, Rockman, I think the uh, shut up videos don't work. Um, when you include other text behind it. Uh, sorry that your brain hurts, .net, Craig. Too complicated, didn't follow, play it again. <laughs> I can't, I can't, it's random. I can't, I can't play it again. Um, one second, chat, I have to blow my... Uh-oh, Zach, well, thank you for the sub. Sometimes subs are delayed um, when, when they actually come through. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's right, that's right. So, Zachary what we do with the subs and thank you very much for the sub by the Yikes. <laughs> Thanks, Rugmat, for uh, entertaining everyone. I was gone briefly, so uh, meme DDoS is a thing. Uh, I can't promise you 
that the memes will stay in the current form in the new setup. There will be memes still, but there may be a slightly different implementation of them. Uh, yes, there is a written version. <laughs> there is a written version of that clip explanation in our Discord. Um, I don't know. <laughs> You're fighting over backgrounds. It's quite funny. So anyway, anyway, there will be memes. No, 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 no. There will be memes. I'm not getting rid of the memes. Don't panic, chat. I promise I'm not getting rid of the memes. There just might be a slightly different implementation of the memes. I don't know. I, I haven't fleshed out or worked out every part of the stream. What I do know, and I can tell you already, the physical space behind me is going to be changing. That's 100% uh, certain is that the physical space is going to change. Slightly different, he's going to bring back the queue. No, I don't think so. I don't think I'll bring back the queue because it breaks things. I don't think I'm going to be bringing back the queue. It's also not entertaining, the queue. Then they're like one at a time. It's not, it's not that cool. So yeah. Anyway, chat. So if you would like to follow along for the stream rebuild, then there's a couple ways to do it. You can, of course, join the Discord. But I have a Patreon page. And during, during my break, I will be posting a few things on Patreon. Some of them will be public. Very few of them will be public. Like certain milestones will be public. But most of it will be locked behind Patreon sub. Glad you've finally seen the light on the queue. Now to convince you about right joins. Right join! Best join. Welcome to the chat. Um, I actually spoke about right joins earlier. <laughs> what is this, Clippy? I see you're updating your stream. Would you like to try streaming on Mixer? Oh, wait. Very meta. Very meta, Clippy. Considering that Mixer doesn't exist anymore. But you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't Garbage. know that. Anyhow, um, right, Join, I was talking about you earlier, and I said the only way that someone would allow me to learn or the only way that i would learn about right joins is if i went to prison because that's what people do if they learn about right joins <laughs> it was microsoft not meta yes but mixer is facebook gaming which is part of meta so you see exegete it all actually works out in the end <laughs> thanks for backing me up on that thanks for backing me up so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about break. It means that when I'm back from break, there is going to be a ton of cool stuff on the stream. The stream is going to look different. It's going to feel different, but it, I'll be the same. I won't have changed in three weeks. I may have good news. I may have bad news. I may have no news like Facebook exists in 2022. Yeah, who uses Facebook still? I really don't know. Uh, anyone over the age of 45, I think, uses Facebook. But yeah, so that's that's the news about the break. I think now we can move on to the real news. Right, chat? I think now we can move on to real news. If that's okay with all of you. I would like to move on to the Data Cafe. Because that's what we're here for. Friday evening... It's always about the data cafe. SQL prison blurb says sound private. Moderators need to approve this blurb for you to share it on stream. Really? Okay, one second. Is it TikTok time? Uh, I don't know if TikTok is a topic today. Actually, I think there's another social media site that is a topic. SQL Prism Blurb. My library. 
One more break question. Is the social safety net in Switzerland good enough that you'll be okay if it goes poorly? That is a very interesting question. That's funny, Rugmat. It's unlisted, but I don't know how to do that. I don't understand how to do that. You know what? I'll just give you a freebie. You have a collect call from Harry Sequel. Really? At the Claw County Prison. This, hour? this call may be monitored or recorded. To no. accept the charges for this call, press no. 1. To no. refuse this call, hang no. up. No. 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 Not. I'm not taking this call. Definitely not. Last time you checked my Facebook, I've received a poke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boss fighter, that's brilliant. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. <clears throat> Does Harry Sequel use right joints? I don't know. It's probably why he's in prison, though, to be honest with you, Rookman. I mean, if we're being real, Harry Sequel's probably in prison for using right joints. Don't you think? Anyway, um, to your question. To your question. Oh, wow, my chat just refreshed. One second, chat. Exegete, you asked about the social net. Can someone write something in chat just to make sure it's working? Oh, thanks, Pretzel. <laughs> okay, that works. Um, is the social safety net in Switzerland good enough that you'll be okay if it goes poorly? I definitely qualify for unemployment uh, because I've been employed. Uh, thanks, Ragma. Thanks, Yos. Um, and Steffi. I qualify for unemployment. I just don't know exactly what that number will be in terms of my salary. I just know that it's probably not going to be lower than I'm earning now because it's based on an average. And obviously before the startup, I was earning significantly better. So I think I would be just fine if worse came to worse exegy. But for it to actually get to that point, it's like plan W or something. I, I really do not think that that's going to happen. I also exegete on like a serious note. There are people here who need unemployment because they came here, for example, as a migrant and they, you know, like people from the Ukraine, for example, um, or there's people seeking asylum or there's people who've actually lost their job due to the pandemic, due to the company going uh, butts up. Those people actually need unemployment and I kind of feel bad taking unemployment, to be honest. I know that I shouldn't because I pay taxes and it's my right, but I think I kind of would feel bad about taking that money. If I need it, I need it, but yeah, I think I might feel bad because I'm, I'm very qualified to do work. I'm a young person, I'm in good health, I can work pretty much anything to earn money, barring like obviously rocket guidance systems or very specific things. So yeah, um, and Boss Fighter also has a serious question. Do we SQL or SQL? And the answer is both, Boss Fighter. You can, you can interchange them as you like. The one thing that you can't do is call it squeal, like Prime does. <laughs> um, is there a finite amount of unemployment? You mean a finite singularity amount? <laughs> Your ego would take a huge hit to go on unemployment at this point. So there is a finite amount, but it's like something like two years. I think it's time based. Time zones. Yeah, really. Wow, I still feel that way about time zones. Welcome in, Panther. Nice to see you again. 
Squeal. Yeah, do not call it Squeal. It's SQL or SQL. One of the two. I've heard people say Squeal before. Not in joking, I, I have to say. I've heard someone actually say it. Squeal. <laughs> um, Steffi, stop writing Squeal, please. It makes me uncomfortable. Deeply uncomfortable. Um, you meant finite for the whole country. Oh, I don't know. Probably. People, stop writing squeal. It makes me uncomfortable. Why are you trying to make me uncomfortable? Squirrel is fine. Um, it just makes me... Makes me feel weird. Makes me feel icky. Forex says that they have been on welfare for exactly two days in their entire life. Between university and starting work. And that's only because our state requires me to have certain things like health insurance covered at all times. Why? 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 So that the moon is completely Why? off. Pat, what do you, what do you even do? I'm trying to think of things to purchase to put on my new shelves. Please advise. Find out! I am 100% for the whole country. Nice! Finite! Finite! Nice to have you here as well, Finite. It's like the whole stream team is here. No way, there's a ton of people not here. There's a ton of people in the stream team not here. You weren't paying attention. Why are we all saying squeal? Yo, get out of here with squeal. You know why I'm saying it. Like, if the price is Ooh, so Battle high. Snake. I have socks from Battlesnake. Why? I will be fine. Do we die? Oh wow, why do we die? I think I clipped this chat. I'm going to be just fine. <laughs> uh, bad timing on the call. I'm going to be just fine, Exegy. Thank you for your concern. That was very bad timing on the call. <laughs> I'm in and out as Django migration work is kicking my butt right now. Finite. That's... Uh... Sounds rough. Sounds rough. Yeah, I'll be just fine, but almost dies on a cough. Yeah, please don't clip that, chat. <laughs> well, someone's probably already clipping it. Um, it's like playing South Park on N64. Yeah, exactly. Boss Fighter says that it feels like Switzerland is like Utopia. Apparently, a dog thing in the street is 600 Swiss francs. Dog thing in the street? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> thank you for clipping. Whoever that was, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, it was Rugman, wasn't it? A clip, 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 and a clap. And then you've got your Twitch clip. I see no data here. Switch to just chatting. We are, we are in the talk shows category, which in case you didn't know, White Panther has the word talk as part of talk show so it means that people can talk while they're here which is what i'm doing not there's too much cafe in this data fine you know what we'll get started okay i want to show you all something cool we'll start with something cool then we'll go into weird stuff and then we will go into cool stuff again it's going to be a roller coaster today okay because that's i found that the roller coaster is amazing we haven't even started. No, we haven't started, Panther, because people ask so many questions about me going on a break. <laughs> I really prefer this talk show version of the stream. Less code and more talk. Is that what you is that what you're saying, boss fighter? So listen, okay. Panther, you're not late. You can join anytime. Talk show more like meme show. Yeah, especially when Rugmat like DDoSes me with memes. So, okay, look. How many of you I'm just going to ask the question. How many of you have met someone and you don't remember their name? Garbage. But like instantly. So like you meet someone and they're like, hi, I'm Keith. And you're like, hey, cool. I'm Billy. And two minutes later, you've completely forgotten their name. Does that happen to you? Because I'm very good with faces. Please no one mention that, that thing that happened. Um, I'm generally good at recognizing people's faces, according to myself. I'm blue to body to body to body to body to body to body. 
Interesting, Karen. I'm bad with names, but can remember a face for years. <laughs> Panther, sorry, who are you? Who are you? White, white P4 3R. Is that supposed to be like semi code? Hmm. It happens to me regularly with the ladies. I've learned to ask her name repeatedly. <laughs> Drunk or sober. Both, boss fighter. Both. Happens to me if I'm busy and in the middle of problem solving. So the thing is, it happens to me a lot too. But I've tried to combat it by getting people to repeat their name during the conversation. Um, you know, you can also invite people to Starbucks. So they write their name on the cup. Yeah, but then, the, you, then you run the risk of saying some really odd arbitrary name that isn't actually their name you know like i don't know some nickname like maddie hates tuss i think you uh rugman you might have broken td's spot for that or maddie exactly with two d's so there's a solution there's a solution for it chat someone built someone built the most amazing machine learning app I have ever seen in my entire life. Let me just make this a bit bigger here. This is good. Um, and this is this is so cool. This is a machine learning app that remembers names for you. <laughs> And it's a hackaday project, so you can actually, you can actually get the app if you really wanted to. I think it's easier to forget a name. I guess. Rather than commit himself to a jail of shame on such occasions, Caleb fought back with this only slightly creepy name recalling smartphone app. The non-zero creep factor comes from the fact that, as Caleb points out. The app crosses lines that most of us would find unacceptable if Google or Amazon did it, like listening to your every conversation. It does this not to direct ads to you based on your conversations, but to fish out the name of your interlocutor from the natural flow of the conversation. Please don't steal people's names. Yes, and please don't steal people's colors. But if you'd like to own a color, you can use the exclamation mark CB command. You can go to the website and then you can use the redemption, the channel point redemption in my channel, and you can own a color for 30 days. I think that depending on our machines to remember things is part of the problem, not solution. Yeah, probably Rugman. But let's be honest, it's not going in any other direction, is it? <laughs> oh, this is way more than just a notes app, uh, Craig. So <clears throat> basically, it's quite tricky, right? Because even with something like named entity recognition, which is a form of natural language processing, to, to parse language into these entities, um, it looks for the names of things in natural text. The problem, it pulls out names, but it doesn't know whether it's that person's name or gossip about someone else. So basically, um, that and trying to make the whole thing at least a little privacy respecting. <laughs> So there is a demo video. Should we watch it? Oh, would you really? Rugman? Okay. Should I do that now? <laughs> let me let me do it. Let's watch the video first. For that I think we have to pause the music. So we're gonna pause the music and then we're gonna watch this video. Take them to Starbucks. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Steven with the... <laughs> Do you ever forget someone's name a second after they tell you? And when you sense the conversation is wrapping up, you try to remember their name, but you can't? My name is Caleb, and I made a tool which reminds you the name of the person you're talking to. I just want to emphasize one thing. <laughs> I just want to emphasize one thing. There is this amazing poster on the left. This amazing painting of himself in some kind of general's uniform. It's some guy who just made this project. Like, this isn't like someone significantly famous or anything, as far as I know. 
Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Caleb, I think it was Caleb. I'm not sure. <laughs> My name is Caleb, and I made oh, a tool yeah. which reminds you the name of the person you're talking there to. There we go. So it's pretty cool. It's a long video. It's like six minutes, but essentially I wanted to show you this thing. When you are talking to the person, it identifies their voice, fetches their name with this machine learning, and then it will display the person's name as a notification <laughs> so that you can just look at your phone as if you were normally looking at your phone. And I think that's really cool. Actually, that's seriously cool. Um, and Boss Fighter, I think he's been pretty clear. He says this in the video as well. This is a entirely locally processing app. It doesn't send any data anywhere. So Boss Fighter, we don't need to be concerned about Amazon or Google in this case. How weird would it be if you have to pull out your phone like, great to meet you, talk to you soon. Checks phone. Chris. <laughs> yeah, Craig, the thing is, it's like, you know, it, it's basically like an, a normal notification. So you'd be you'd be um, you'd be talking to someone, and then you would just be casually looking at your phone and be like, ah, oh, that's uh, you get notifications seeing Craig, and then you'd be like, oh, so Craig, tell me about your wife or whatever. Um, sorry, not to assume your gender, Craig, but yeah, um, tell me about your partner, or you know, you could like. It's just a super useful thing. Um, and like, I like this sentence here. <laughs> um, to be sure, this doesn't do much more than a simple remind me of your name again, which I've used a lot. Like, oh, sorry, I didn't catch your name or, oh, could you repeat your name? I forgot or yeah, like, you know, just getting someone to say their name again is not such a big problem. Um, Oh, it freaks you out when people do that to you, Craig. <laughs> That's funny. In startups, we give each other business cards. It's the only place I've ever handed out business cards in my life. That's true. You know, I mean, you can just download the app. I think you can get it. Um, I think you can just get the app from, from his website or something. I didn't look into it. But basically... Um, it's pretty cool and it works pretty well from what I can tell. So yeah, um, boss fighter, I don't think you even need to copy it. You can just download it. Um, but yeah, color box. So <clears throat> Rockmat has said that they would like to have a color. <clears throat> Blue Squid says, I found that acknowledging you forgot someone's name can actually be a bonding moment. Everyone has mental blanks sometimes. Exactly, Blue Squid. It can be a, it can be a cute thing. Um, also, Blue, welcome back to the stream. Nice to see you again. So Rugmat has wanted to claim Deep Red, uh, which is up here on the first row, as Stolen Red. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know you didn't know the context, but you nailed it, Blue. You absolutely freaking nailed it. Even if you didn't watch the last five minutes of the stream, <clears throat> so that's very impressive. So Ragmat wants to claim Deep Red. That's fine. The way that we do this is very simple. We press period, which opens up VS Code in the browser. And yes, I am a Data Camp affiliate. If you would like to learn SQL or R or Python and data science topics, then it's worth thinking about DataCamp because it is a very cool platform. Um, and currently they're running a special. You can get 50% off a yearly subscription, I think, um, which is quite impressive. So we have Deep Red. Ah, I see. Jay Walter had claimed this previously. It seems that Rugmat has swooped in. And we're going to go stolen red from Rugmat. Is that correct? Stolen red? Yes, it is. 
Okay. We're going to make a commit like this, rug mat. And that's it. That's all it needed. Some apps have simplistic ideas. Yeah, sometimes the simplest apps are the coolest ones, you know? So let's wait till this refreshes. Sorry, nitpicking on the use case scenario sale pitch of name forgetting should pay attention to the tech stack, the solution approach and way of thinking. This could be adapted to be an app for presents my significant other has subtly hinted at. Ooh, presents. Oh, okay. I see. So you'd like to repurpose the app to listen to all of your private conversations and to remember named entities for objects in a context of the other person would like to have that thing and then make like an auto gift list. That sounds fairly advanced. <laughs> that sounds fairly advanced, but maybe it's a possibility. Okay, let's refresh. Should have deployed by now. Oh, look. There you go, Rockmat. Stolen red. Just turn on Google Assistant. Yeah, exactly, Vicious. Just keep Google Assistant on the whole time. Problem solved. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Also, Vicious, welcome back to the stream. Very nice to see you as well. Glad to have you here. There you go, Rugmat. Your red is stolen. Already knows everything you want anyway. Yeah, true. There's not much point in, in guessing. But yeah, it's a nifty little thing. Uh, it's a nifty little thing. It's 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 uh it's a cool app. I have yet to try it. I do meet a lot of people, so it could be could be something interesting. Um, the link to this article, as well as to all the others, as usual, will be on my stream recaps on Patreon. You can get them usually a day or two after. The VOD goes up on YouTube as well, uh, usually two or three days, so you can always catch up on the data cafe episodes that you miss out on because not everyone can be here on friday it's no we all have lives so next article chat who here has created I'll, I'll use two words i'll use two words that's one word steffi i'll use two words and let's see who can identify what we're going to talk about. But actually, we need to run an ad. Should I take a break? Should I take a break or just run the ad? Hmm. Everyone here has created garbage. That's true. At some point or another, all of us have created garbage. Uh, you know what? Let's run the ad now. Give me 30 seconds. I'll be right back. chat we back thanks rugmat for keeping us entertained while we were away oh have you have you started the bot again uh oh i'm very afraid <clears throat> forex interesting common then there's the interesting topic of information poverty if you don't speak english and a couple of other major languages then you're out of luck because you're not trained in language models much less voice recognition by the big companies that's almost like um so information poverty it's almost like linguistic suppression or even linguistic racism not racism linguisticism so even a word for that basically discrimination by language 
And the good example of that is actually the World Cup uh, in 2002, 2003 in Japan. Because I was living in Japan at the time and nothing, nothing was in English. There were no signs in English for anything. But the World Cup was being hosted in Japan and Korea, I believe it was. And suddenly English was everywhere. They started putting up English signs for tons of stuff. And of course they left it afterwards. So they made an active effort to welcome the international community coming to Japan, who obviously could not read Japanese as well as I can. Two wind turbines are out in a field having a chat. The first wind turbine asks the second, what kind of music are you into? The second replies, <laughs> a clip, clip, I'm a big clip, metal fan. And, clap, and then you've got your Twitch clip. Oh, oh finite. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm suppressing the urge to time you out from chat. <laughs> I'm really suppressing it. Um, boss fighter, you're right. There's a lot of datasets for English, French, Chinese, but you won't find datasets with all of the languages. You know, I think in the stream rebuild, I might do a thing where you can use a channel point redemption to call a dad joke, but it will time you out. And the more people use it, the longer it times you out for. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? The person who uses it like two hours into stream gets timed out for like five minutes. <laughs> And at some point, you, some point using it might even ban you from chat. You'd have to make an unban request. <laughs> that sounds so evil, though. That's super evil. <clears throat> I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. <clears throat> but it's a fun idea. It's a fun idea. Oh, watch out on the bands with the shared ban lists. Oh yeah, 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 that could be really bad. That's true. That could be very bad. Tactics, would you like to uh, turn the lights red for me? So we can get in the mood. I can also do it. But uh, I feel like it's, it's more fun if you do it. I can smell the oh, that didn't work? Terrible. He could be one. Garbage. Yeah, I don't know why it, that didn't work. Strange. Very strange. Tactics, nice to see you again. Very good to see you. I hope you're having a great day. Or evening. Or morning. Whatever time it is for you. Shall we continue, chat? I have two words for you. Generative art. Who here has used any of the AI generation tools to generate imagery from a text prompt? I would love to know if anyone has experimented with Mid Journey or um, Dali 2 or Dali 2 Mini or there's a ton of them now cropping up. It may also be very difficult to understand me because I'm so evil. I'm glad that you are, your day is complete, Netflix. I'm very glad about that. Oh, it's hot in here. Oof. It's very warm. <clears throat> ah, finite. Brown and white astronaut dog in front of an event horizon. Yes. Amazing. That is a very cool prompt. And so Space Marine Roscoe was born. That's a great prompt. And that's a really good example. Basically, generative art is the act of writing data. a prompt. Information. Ones and zeros never lie. So a text prompt. 
using whatever words you want. And the AI or the machine learning model will generate an image. It's magic, right? And we talked about art last week. We had actually a really long discussion chat. Does anyone remember that? About whether, because it was a story about how a guy entered a competition for art with a AI generated piece and won the competition. Does anyone remember that? And people were understandably quite upset. Because for them, it's an attack on their skills, right? Because they, well, how can I say? Until now, they blew off. Oh. Until now, they never used generative art tools to create art that was being judged in a competition, right? They always created them themselves. Let me reconnect Lumia just to make sure that that's still working. Because that's doing some weird stuff. Okay, it's connected. So if we turn the lights Bermuda, there we go. Wonderful. So chat, generative art is very much a huge hype at the moment. And there's a great article that came out. Ah, there we go, tactics. What is this? It's Microsoft Excel. Yeah, it's Excel in an elevator. There's a great article that came out this week about these prompts. Look at this chat. Technology can generate a lot of crap. It can takes an artist to tune it. Very interesting, Blue, because the article went into detail about how this guy took months and hundreds of prompts to find exactly the thing he wanted to find. This wasn't a puts in a prompt get something back, downloads it, submits it to the art competition, wins first prize scenario. That would have understandably been very, very, very frightening and very concerning, probably. But here's the thing. If you don't know how to write a prompt, now you don't need to anymore. <laughs> so of course, of course, of course, someone figured out that there's a lot of people that have no idea how to write prompts. <laughs> now, writing these prompts for AI is no simple task. You have to understand that each word generates different effects in the model. And even repeating the same phrase over and over and over will generate different results every time. So it's become a bit of an art itself in, in formulating these prompts. And people actually have started seeing job ads come up for prompt writers. So if you're looking for a cool gig, that could be something for you. And what's shocking about this is now it's gone to the next step, which is basically people who are really good at writing prompts, they've launched a marketplace for prompts. What's that smell? Failure. Thank you, RugmapBot. So yeah, in the past few years, art made by programs like Midjourney and OpenAI's DALI have gotten surprisingly compelling. These programs can translate a text prompt into literally and controversially award-winning art. That was the article we covered last week. A new job has been created. Exactly, boss fighter. This job didn't exist five years ago. AI writing didn't exist five years ago. It's definitely very new. Prompt. Pro AI prompt writer or AI interlocutor or AI translator, those things didn't exist five years ago. And there is a new marketplace called Prompt Base. Gotta say, it's a pretty good name. And basically, you can trade in prompts for generating very specific imagery. Like a 
meta art market as they call it here. <clears throat> so the platform lets, they call them prompt engineers, which I I take issue with the title engineer in this, but let's, let's gloss over that for the moment. I don't think that's a really big deal. It lets the prompt engineers sell text descriptions. Today was my kiddo's fourth birthday. I almost didn't recognize them. I've never seen them before. <laughs> Seriously. Exegy, that would be timeout worthy. You see? That's what I mean. Like that, that's a dad joke level that is absolutely timeout worthy. No question. Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, um, prompt base. It lets these engineers sell text descriptions that reliably produce a certain garbage. art style which is definitely garbage <laughs> I, I love that i thought it was steffi but it was rugmat bot this time <laughs> and the timing was perfect it was great um so it would the the descriptions produce a certain art style or subject and that's pretty interesting so when you buy the prompt, you get a string of words that you paste into Midjourney Dally or another system you got access to. What's really interesting about this is how do they sell the prompt in the first place? Like, how do they tell people what they're going to get? How does it like, because they don't officially know what the image is going to look like, you know? Huh. The results of a Dali nail art prompt. Interesting. The prompts are more complex than a few words of description. So this is what I was talking about, chat. Writing these prompts has become fairly technical and complex. So they'll include keywords describing the aesthetic, important elements for a scene, brackets where buyers can add their own variables to tailor the content. Something like nail art design might include positions of the hands, the angle of the pseudo photographic shot and instructions for tweaking the prompt to produce different manicure styles and themes. Prompt Base takes a 20% commission and prompt writers retain ownership of their work. Wait, what? Wait a second, what? But how would these prompts work with copyright law? Exactly, Vicious. Wait a second, huh? Hold on a second. So you're telling me... I come up with a text phrase that has variables in it. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Rockman spot is hilarious today. <laughs> um... So I come up with a text phrase. It's incomplete because it has variables in it. Someone Garbage. buys... Thank you, Dr. Padawan. <laughs> Someone buys the text phrase from me, tells me what variables should be filled with what words. They put the prompt into the thing, and then the returned piece of artwork belongs to me? Yeah, I, I saw the 120,000. This is like... That's complete. I don't. What? This doesn't make any sense, Chad. This doesn't make any sense. Why would I? Why would I retain ownership of the work? Someone paid me five dollars for text. Why? 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 Yeah, exactly. Boss Fighter, we should create an AI that writes better AI prompts for AI. What if I'm already selling Maddie Two Shoes and then you start selling Maddie Two Shoes? Uh, I don't know how they... I don't know how they handle duplicates. Um, is their work referring to the art or the prompt itself? Let's read this again. Prompt base takes a 20% commission and prompt writers retain ownership of their work. <laughs> I 
Uh, I don't know about I don't know about uh, alternative case <clears throat> tactics. So okay, prompt writers retain ownership of their work. What do we think, chat? Does it is it talking about the prompt itself belongs to them or the work derived from the prompt? What do we think, chat? Prompt or art? Let me know in chat what you think. I'm not going to run a poll. It's not worth it. But I will change chairs. Because I've been on the ball for a while. And I think now it's time to change. One second, chat. Distort on. Messed up the screen. Who messed up the screen? Ah, oh, it was Red Man, wasn't it? Distort. Classic. Classic. Um, prompt. They can pick royalties from their prompts. Okay, boss fighter, that makes sense. Prompt. Technically, they did not generate the artwork. The machine learning model did. Prompt. Prompt writing is like music. Okay, so it's like ghostwriting a song where you retain rights. Okay, not ghostwriting. It's like writing a song for someone else where you retain ownership over the words of the song, but not the sung piece. <laughs> Seriously, how does your bot know? How does your bot know which memes to use? They're so, they're so on point today. It's hilarious. Okay, so they retain ownership of the prompt, but not the art generate. Interesting. I guess it would also be like, the person has to put the prompt into the thing? I don't know exactly. So anyway, you pay two to five dollars for a paragraph of text. The list came from the internet. The international network. Yeah, but... That's not... <laughs> okay. Something like the nail art... Uh... Because wouldn't the art fall under the license the generator provided provides? It's, it's a really tricky topic to begin with. Like, there's, a, there's an article linked here about how the copyright office rejected generated art. Apparently, um, Exegete says, let's face it, you keep ownership of the prompt so you can sell it again and they can take another 20%. That's the whole scam. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, okay, that makes sense to me. Paying $2 to $5 for a paragraph of text might seem like a strange purchase and the idea of paid prompts doesn't sit right with everyone using these systems. But after buying the nail art design mentioned above, I was curious about what it took to make a good commercial AI prompt and how much money was actually in it. PromptBase put me in touch with the designer, Justin Reckling, to talk about it. Interesting. Artists, painters, graphics designers will die. Uh, I don't know about die, <laughs> boss fighter. I think they're... Creating basic level assets that don't take any particular art or skill or creativity, those will very quickly be taken over by these types of systems. But full-blown creativity, I don't know if that will be... I mean, can we really be replaced by machines? What do you think, chat? I don't think so. I really don't think a machine can replace a human anytime not in our lifetime i don't think so they can't make money jobless divorce homeless wow that's that escalated super quickly <laughs> boss fighter 
<laughs> that escalated. You still need images to feed the AI. Can we start charging the AI for licenses to scan our images? Ooh, that's very interesting. How when did you, oh, this is like an interview. How when did you get into in prompt engineering? Did you have particular skills that made you good at it? I got into prompt engineering in April of 2022 when I was able to get my hands on OpenAI's GPT-3 text generation tool. I quickly found that I had a knack for it and I was able to create some great text to image prompts with it. What does that mean? What does that mean? Like, what is, what is a great prompt? I don't understand. When the AI can invent something completely new and original instead of expanding on things it's already seen, then we're in trouble. Yeah, and we're, we're far, far away from that situation, Blue. For sure. We are way, 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 way away from that. Someone's good at selling themselves. It means they're great at marketing themselves by making bold claims. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My related skills include programming and software quality assurance. Okay, so all of you here who are programmers are apparently good prompt engineers. I have a good eye for aesthetics, which helps me to create prompts that are visually... <laughs> Sorry. That are visually appealing. I don't know what that means. Okay. Being an artist, a coder, or engineer? What the? Okay. I see prompt writing from the perspective of an artist, coder, and engineer. Okay. I, I don't know what to think about this. You know what I just thought of? What XG? I wonder if Apple could game the AI system by feeding iPhone photos to Dali every second for months. How do you mean game the system? Aside from the fact that Apple doesn't access your photos as far, my, uh, as, far as I'm aware, that would be a huge liability, I think. Um, I, I don't know what game, game the AI system. I mean, ultimately what you're talking about is introduced bias, right? Oh, 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 all of a sudden, every photo Dali creates has an iPhone in it. Ah, Apple's photos of an iPhone. Oh, I see. Can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. I don't know, actually. I mean, no, we'll do it live. Can okay. they do it live? I the can way that the, it and we'll do it live. The way the AI, the way the AI parses images is not only about recency and frequency. I think it's, it, it's, it's based on something else, right? Boss Fighter says, what I don't understand about humanity is atomic bombs are dangerous. They created them anyways. Pollution destroys the planet. They do it anyway. AI is dangerous. They do it anyway. You know, boss fighter, I think what it comes down to is people like to live dangerously. People like risk. They like excitement. They like things that are unknown to some extent. But at the same time, people do value security and safety. So it's not always the same person making the same decision, you know? Um, <clears throat> Vicious has another brain teaser for us. Is a prompt you feed to the AI considered an idea? If so, it cannot be copyright protected. No, it's an. I think they're talking about copyright in terms of the wording and not. Sorry, chat. I don't. Sometimes the ring lights, they trigger like yawn, yawn stuff. I think um, they're talking about the words themselves. So just like text can be copyright, the prompts are copyright for the specific words used in a particular order as a phrase together called the prompt. This is interesting. I typically sell between three and five prompts per day with each prompt averaging two to three wow. sales within a month or two. 
Okay. Wait a second. So he earns he earns like five times five. Max twenty-five dollars a day. Twenty-five dollars a day. Twenty-five dollars a day times thirty days a month. The guy's taking home seven hundred and fifty dollars a month in passive income. Max. That's not like a huge amount of money, let's be honest. Oh, look, for someone it might be moving the needle, but $700 a month extra? I don't know. I don't know if that really moves the needle for most people. Um, <clears throat> consider how many inventors of the one bomb pollution knew how badly it would be used when they built it. Yeah, I don't know, Exegete. That's the thing, right? Hindsight is twenty twenty. They didn't know. Blue Squid says I can kind of understand why they say engineering. How would you describe Google Foo? Yeah, so, okay, Google Foo. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good analogy, Blue. Google Foo is basically the ability to write really good search queries in Google, right? So if I'm a good Google searcher, Oh my god, my phone went off. If I'm a good Google searcher, then I am a search prompt engineer. You're right, Blue. I would also take an extra 700 a month. Why not? Sure. Anyway, what is your most popular prompt? Block cities is my if most you popular. Play, then why'd you come to the party? Prompt. Most sales. This has the most sales. Two dollars ninety nine for this prompt. This easy to use text -to image prompt creates isometric cityscapes perfect for world building or games. Interesting. Fascinating. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should make some prompts on here. Bolzo, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. As you're new here. Hi to you. Your first message, your first message is a little bit cryptic though. If you'd like us to call you, is that a phone number? It's a little bit cryptic. Or is that uh, an into uh, some kind of? Uh, is that like a? <clears throat> is that like a cool? Is that like a cool thing that we should like look into? Is it like a puzzle of some kind? I don't know. What is it? I would love to know. Starts farming Twitch chat. <laughs> interesting though yeah i mean you could see a game built around this yeah 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 that's the thing like ultimately you can build a ton of assets in a game with that but like 2.99 a prompt your game's going to become quite expensive no or maybe not i don't know is it a good deal i don't know i don't know purchase it let's investigate investigate what do you mean investigate panther what's there to investigate <laughs> thank you rug bot it's jigglypuff this time is he sprinkling prompt seeds in the background <laughs> yeah look he's planting seeds for his next investigate the prompt Oh, I see. Like, how detailed is the prompt? How secret is it to be monetized? I don't want to buy something for three. I don't want to spend three dollars to get a prompt. That's like, it's like unnecessary money. I'll tell you what, Panther. If you donate, if you donate, if you tip three dollars, I'll buy the prompt. <laughs> I'm a I'm a startup founder. I'm starving. I don't have any money. I was just talking for an hour and 10 minutes about how I'm going on break so I can attempt to save my startup from from starving. 
uh, Twitch Twitch streamer begs for donations <laughs> to buy AI prompts. <laughs> Hey Greenwind, welcome to the stream. We're just debating um whether to buy an AI prompt. Literally, we're just buying a prompt. So we would buy a prompt. We would buy an easy to use text to image prompt. We would buy the prompt and then use it in one of the text to image generators, like mid-journey. But wait, do they give you access to the to the the generator? Do they give you access to Dali? Because I don't have access to Dali. I'll just read the chat. Read the chat. <laughs> How accurate. Rockbat is. Rockbat, you're bot. I know it's just going through the list, but like, it knows which memes. It, it knows which memes to use. That's so cool. It's incredible. It's really impressive. How are you doing, Greenwind? It's very nice to see you again in the stream. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we need an AI to generate prompts for the AI, which we run the output of through Mechanical Turk. <laughs> Are you actually serious? <laughs> oh my gosh, Panther, did you? Did you actually just donate two francs eighty eight, which is exactly two ninety nine? Oh my gosh, Panther, was that you? It says private investigator. Are you private investigator? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the donation. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing now. I guess that's what we're doing now. Troll Panther indeed. Well, this is turned from Data Cafe into let's let's buy prompts. Um, who has access to Dali? Because I'd want to put this into Dali afterwards. Definitely. Create an account. What if I don't want to? Can I just be like I'll probably just do 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. <laughs> How did that not do anything? 50? Fine. I'll say I'm sorry. No, be sincere. Like this. CSS Bear was sorry. super cool stream. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that. Good, that's the one. Sorry. Wrong button. I need to uh, obfuscate this. <clears throat> 50? Uh, I need to obfuscate this. I'm gonna do with Google. Prompt base. Okay. Putting in my credit card details chat. I will charge back this. What the? I just got rickrolled. I can't believe I just got rickrolled in sequel. Oh, did I get rickrolled in sequel? Oh, yeah, text rickroll. That was funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think we've done it. We've done it, chat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the CVC is 420. Exactly, Steffi. We've bought it. Now, the thing is, chat. Panther, we need to ask you a question. Because actually, Panther, technically you bought this for me. Is it okay that I share it with everyone? Because it, technically then you financed it for everyone in chat. So if you're okay... <laughs> you're okay with sharing it with everyone in chat. Otherwise, I will obfuscate it. Oh, yes. Wonderful. You hear that, chat? Panther has gifted us a prompt. Here we go. Are we ready? I'm clicking. Oh wow. You just drop in and just smack the lip. Here's the prompt. 
here's the prompt chat let me just zoom in on this here's the prompt 3d isometric Garbage. view does your license include sharing rights i have no idea 3d isometric view cityscape diorama on a small square fishing on a small square island floating in the void view of a modern business district golden hour high detail digital art and there's prompt instructions for add weather change the time period switch golden hour to blue hour or midday change from commercial to residential or industrial add shallow to give you a shorter uh base that's interesting so, okay. Not that hard, right? U ultimately, I don't think that's that difficult. Yeah, I'm also underwhelmed. But we just spent $2.99 on this Panther. Let's go to the marketplace. There's all these prompts here. But what if we just make one? What if we make... Oh, Chad, I know what we can do. We can make a prompt here and try and earn our money back. I have to be honest, I can't imagine this text being copyright protected. It's just listing words. Is this talent? Exactly. Yeah, see, this is what I mean, Chad. Let's... Chad, let's make a prompt together. Let's make a prompt together. And then we can maybe make the money back. Or <laughs> See? Or, Rugman, mm. your bot knows exactly what to say. It's yeah. awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start with a detailed description. What are the credits for? What do the credits do? One second, chat. I want to see something. Receive an email whenever you make a sale. Buy credits. 100 credits are 10 US dollars. We're going outside! Ah! Here we go. Can our prompt be garbage data going outside? Let's ride Panther Chicken Mongosaurus? Mm, no, I think we should have a different kind of prompt. Tell us about the prompt you want to sell. These details are not final. Our team will make edits if it goes live. Uh, okay, so there's prompt-based GPT-3 DALI mid-journey stable diffusion. Wait, so we can generate one here? Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait a second. Hold on a second. Wait, does this generate an image for us? I think this is actually generating an image. I think we're actually generating art, chat. Can the prompt start with Switzerland-based sequel enthusiasts? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, we get 10 of them. We get 10 prompts. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> this is... I'm so confused about this. <laughs> See? Rockbat, this is incredible. The turtle comes in just says there's a turtle on screen. Look at this thing. It's basically a turtle. <laughs> Pick all the bicycles in these photos. Oh, it's trying to detect us. I'm definitely going to I'm I'm going to download these. Okay. We can also sell this prompt if we wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> twitch live streamer who uses shoes as a nickname and prop together with bunny rabbits sitting in his office bright lights uh shining on his face uh, 
I did notice the little hexagons next to buy credits decreasing. Yeah, exactly. That's we have 10 credits basically. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> bright lights shining on his face. Uh, laughing, excited about the future, not wearing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll take this part. Laughing, wearing a hoodie with a moth on it, bouncing on a ball. Okay, chat. Here we go. <clears throat> Who knows what we're going to get? Who knows what we're gonna get? Could be anything. We'll only do we'll only do like two or three max. If you have a prompt suggestion, put it in chat. I'll I'll look through them. Bless you, Rogue Bot. Uh oh. Ow, that stings. Isn't there a lighter setting? Yeah, but we need to blast this virus off you, buddy. Okay, what? I'm overwhelmed, chat. <laughs> I really don't know what to think about this. What is this? Okay, I'm going to download these. But like... This is... Uh, particularly this, this one on the top left of the first image. Um, clearly not a good prompt. Yeah, so chat, we need we need to make better prompts. Prompts are hard. Put in the prompt that you purchased. I think that's what we have to do. Matty Tushes marries a head of cabbage before regretting it and accidentally eating the cabbage in his sleep. <laughs> John Oliver. Okay, so we can add weather, change the time period, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is meant to be very good. Let's go. Change the time of day and make it industrial. Okay, 3D isometric view, cityscape diorama on a medium square island, floating in the void. View of a modern industrial district. Nighttime. High detail digital art. Okay. Here's the third one. Let's go. I'm hoping, chat. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping it's good. It's almost done. It's almost done, chat. <laughs> so I own this. I own this prompt now. It belongs to me. I'm very excited for this. I'm ready to shout scam. What? Okay, this is far removed. This is very far removed. I changed one thing from... Okay, I changed this to medium, not small. This is SimCity 3000! This is exactly what SimCity 3000 looks like. Nighttime high detail digital art. My freaking... Come on! <laughs> this is absolute <laughs> scam. Oh my gosh. This was the original prompt. 
3D isometric view, cityscape diorama on a small square island floating in the void. View of a modern business district. Golden hour high detail. Is this really using Dali? Oh! Oh. Hold on, let's download these first. I'm gonna include these in the Patreon post. How about that? I'm gonna include all of them in the Patreon post for the lulls. Uh, oh, right, this prompt was for Dali. Oh. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. Also, Jay Walter, you landed for 2140. That's quite impressive. Okay. Mm hmm. I see. So it seems that there is some level of skill involved, chat, in creating a prompt. Oh, wow, his prompt really is popular. Modern lettered logos. $5. Yeah, you're right, Panther. This was 100% worth the investigation. Thank you for the donation, nonetheless. Elements, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we do is... We have this. Good evening, Matty and chat. I hope you are enjoying yourself and look forward to watching the rest of the last stream before the break. We'll miss your insights and the ability to make Karen say go 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 good job. Anyways, I'll sit back now, relax and enjoy the show. Thank you, Jens. Thank you. I just have to tickle the AI the right way. Exactly, Vicious. Exactly. Um, I'm trying it on Dali Mini with the original text. Looks kind of like the sample images, but Picasso-y. Interesting, Blue. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't um, I haven't tried stable diffusion yet. I've been wanting to try stable diffusion. Maybe we can sell a prompt. So you can say you can say in which system it is. So like prompt base, for example. You don't see the pop up, right, chat? No. But there's prompt base, GPT three, Dali, Mid Journey, and Stable Diffusion. Then you have a title for the prompt. You describe what the prompt does, and then you can set a price. Oh, that's interesting. The prices are fixed. $199, $299, $399, dollars Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that was a lovely little investigation, chat. That was a lovely little investigation. We now have a, a gallery of absolutely insane, weird... Uh, AI generated imagery. That was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed that too, chat. I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know. Did you enjoy that chat? I hope you enjoyed it. But ultimately, um, maybe we should have read a bit more about how do you construct a prompt. Um, after I have a rough idea of what I want to accomplish, I try to narrow things down to people, places, and things. Use the service to generate a few rough prompts. I find it much easier to take something that works well and then add on to it rather than having to go back and remove things until it looks better. Start with big important strokes and then work in the finer details. Hmm. Enjoyment confirmed. Thank you, Tactics. Uh, Blue, if you want to share a link to uh, anything that you tried out on Dali Mini, you could uh, link us an Imgur or something in chat if you like. How different is the prompt construction process for other systems? It really depends on what you're looking for and what you need the prompt to do. If you want something that's more polished and professional, like a stock image substitution, then DALI is probably your best bet. If you're looking for something more creative and hands-on, then Midjourney might be a better option. With Midjourney, you can adjust the weights of words, decide what resolution you want, and do other customizations. But keep in mind, it takes more time and effort to get the results you want. Interesting. 
Yens. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Careful with stuff like that. <laughs> when painting, of course. Exactly. Interesting. Okay, so there's a whole... <clears throat> oh, look at this chat. So is that competition winner an artist now then? I mean, after you've se after we've seen how much effort goes into writing a prompt to generate just the right image, I feel like it's legitimate art, no? I also said that last week. It's an assistive function. You still need to know what you're doing. Just like with a camera on a tripod, you can click a hundred times. Just because the tripod is helping you out doesn't mean the photo is going to be good. You still need to know what you're doing. This is very interesting, chat. This is what we were talking about before. I saw you did some GPT-3 text prompts too. And Secretary Cardona and <laughs> wow, the ball is still Bowser going! And <laughs> still going. Uh, you know, thank you for joining us as well. And for families across the country. Can you write an AI pr text prompt that would automatically generate AI art prompts? I have a trained model over at OpenAI that I've been just been given permission to share that's available at typestitch.com. It's been trained on quite a bit of data from real world prompts, so it can take a keyword or two and generate sample prompts for you to try for fun, or just to give you concept ideas to fiddle with. Wow, so they are, they have started doing that. Who asked that earlier? I think Exegete, you asked if we could make an AI to make AI prompts for us, right? That's hilarious. But also terrifying. Maybe we... Maybe we won't need to generate prompts anymore. It's never been to the point where I've wound up selling a prompt that's generated as is. Okay. Cool. Another very informative article. Okay, chat. It is time. It is time to guess. We play a little game called Guess That Social Media Site Drama. <laughs> it's time to guess which social media site got in hot water for data privacy stuff. Can anybody guess which social media site app it was? Any guesses? Yoast, TikTok, no. Panther, Patreon, no. Schmickschmock, no, not Schmickschmock. I've never heard of Schmickschmock. What is Schmickschmock? Twitter, no. Tactics, it was also not Twitter. Should I give you all a hint? Google Plus, no, <laughs> it's also not a defunct platform. Not Facebook, we're getting closer. Instagram, ding, 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 Steffi. You are correct. It is indeed the story of the week. Instagram, two year investigation was fined $402 million for mishandling teens' data in the EU. Let's look into this a little bit before we take a short break for today. Ireland's Data Protection Commission has fined Meta 405 million euros after an investigation into how it handled teenagers' data. And yes, it should have been 420 million euros. I agree. I agree. The decision and fine were finalized last Friday. The DPC spokesperson, I can't read this name, something McGuire, tells The Verge, full details of the decision will be published next week. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah focused on two ways in which the company allegedly breached GDPR rules. The first was Instagram allowing young users ages 13 to 17 to set up business accounts on the platform 
which made those users' contact information publicly available. Same day delivery. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, Quiva. Quiva? This is pronounced Quiva? What? Quiva-ish? It looks completely different. Isn't it pronounced like Kalmala? I don't know. It's a very difficult name. Um, anyway, so Instagram allowed people ages 13 to 17 to set up business accounts that expose their contact information. Instagram also allegedly made the accounts of some users public by default. Colva. Ah, yeah, okay. Interesting. I, I'm really not familiar with Irish names. Wow. Okay. This is the third and largest fine that the Irish uh, data authority has imposed on Meta, easily eclipsing 225 million euros for WhatsApp that didn't inform you, you citizens about how it collected and used their data. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even know Instagram had business accounts, thought all accounts were the same. I have a business, we have a business account on Instagram uh, for our startup. And yes, it makes your contact information public. That's correct. WhatsApp was ordered to change its privacy policy and said it planned to appeal. There was also a much smaller fine of 17 million euros for record keeping issues around security breaches. The DPC also has dozens of other investigations underway against big tech companies. Ooh, so this is not over, chat. Gaelic pronunciation is even worse than English. <laughs> We are not RogMatBot. We are not going outside. Meta said in a statement to Politico that it updated the public by default setting more than a year ago. And anyone under 18 automatically has their account set to private when they join Instagram. So only people they know can see what they post and adults can't message teens who don't follow them. We disagree with how this fine was calculated and intend to appeal it. See, Steffi, they also wanted the fine to be 420 million euros. <laughs> they also said four, it's 40 something is not good. They want it to be 405 is not good. They want it to be 420. So this is a uh, very surprising Instagram in the news, but after all, it belongs to Meta. So are we really surprised chat? I don't think so. Yeah, they changed it, Yoast. They changed it. Um, but a while ago, it was public, yes. The way Meta and Instagram in particular handled the online experience of its youngest users has been under a huge amount of scrutiny in the last couple of years, thanks in part to Francis Hogan's testimony about Instagram's effect on mental health. Wow, this is a big one. Eight things we learned from the Facebook papers. This was quite a while back. This was last year. Massive new document release shows chaos and confusion inside the world's most powerful social network. Yeah, basically there was a huge whistleblowing incident, um, which leaked a lot of documents. You can go read up about that. That was before we had the data cafe. Oh, you have a professional account, not a business account. Is there a difference? Hmm, okay. Instagram has also simultaneously tried to build more products for those young users, which has been met with huge backlash. I have to believe parents would prefer the option. <clears throat> Excuse you. It does give you better stats. Yes, it gives you better analytics. Uh, so Instagram's head has argued that I have to believe parents would prefer the option for their children to use an age appropriate version of Instagram that gives them oversight than the alternative. Interesting. Instagram is now trying to be TikTok. Yeah, exactly, Steffi. So they've started doing more algorithmic things in the feed and a lot of people don't like that. So listen, chat, we need to take a short break. We, I need more water, I need to stretch my legs for a bit, I need to run an ad. So we'll be back in a minute or two where we're going to go through a 
combat related. <laughs> I wish tactics. I don't have time. We're going to go through a military combat related post, which we have not featured on Data Cafe before. So stick around and we'll see each other after the break. Bye bye. Garbage. garbage Who's that Pokemon? Pikachu Welcome back chat I'm now sitting in my other chair Wow <laughs> Really? I mean Rockman's bot somehow just knows what memes to use it's kind of funny it's very strange it's very strange it's like rugmat programmed it somehow to be i don't know it's a bit strange don't you think where did rugmat go did rugmat just set the bot and then just leave because <laughs> that's kind of funny it's literally still going down the list. I know. I know. But like... I don't know. Hope you all had a good break. Um, I think it's time for the next article. What do you think, chat? Chat, what do you think? I think it is time. This is a bit of an interesting one, chat. Because never before on the Data Cafe have we talked about data and military. It is the first time ever. <laughs> it's the first time ever that we've talked about data and military applications. Because I don't want to start a whole philosophical debate about conflict and whatever in light of what's going on as well. It's pretty insensitive to talk about it at the moment. So I was wondering whether I should include this article in Data Cafe. And then I realized 
as Jens has also realized that not talking about it is probably a mistake. So, I will hit you, Tactics DJ, with this headline. The US military to finally get Microsoft's combat goggles worth $21.9 billion. The deal is happening despite Microsoft tech employees years long demands that the deal be terminated. Information. Ones and zeros never lie. <laughs> I love that the bot is doing everything in line. It's so amazing that every meme is fitting. The United States Army has decided to purchase thousands of Microsoft's HoloLens battle goggles. Uh, okay. Microsoft would begin to deliver some of the 5,000 integrated visual augmentation system goggle units after encouraging results from testing in the field. So they order 5,000 goggles for how much? 21 billion? No, that can't be right. It must, it must be more than 5,000. Okay. Okay, maybe I logged into the bot and sent... <laughs> The Microsoft See? Battle Goggles were chosen because of their superior blue screen of death. <laughs> Karen, that's not a bad reason for choosing for choosing Battle Goggles built by Microsoft. You know? Oh, Rugmap Bot has all the points too. It's true. <clears throat> Cute bunny on. Very well, Rugmap Bot. I suppose uh, talking about this in a bunny voice makes it a little bit more digestible. Not wrong. Only 143 shoes. The augmented reality goggles, which are a modified version of HoloLens, give the user a heads-up display or a hologram that is projected over their environment and provides more information over what they can already see. HoloLens cost $3,500 each and are sold in stores. The eyewear is used by NASA and in a number of industries, including healthcare. AR helmet of the F-35 pilot costs 400,000. Okay, Forex. Gonna miss grooving out to music with all of you, that's for sure. Interesting. So, over the next 10 years, the U.S. Army anticipates spending about $21.9 billion on these glasses. The eyewear won't undergo its final test until October, but according to Bush... Which Bush? The Army remains convinced the initiative will be successful. And the deal is happening, despite Microsoft's tech employees Years long demands that the military deal be terminated. So in 2018, they negotiated an initial agreement worth 480 million. Initially. That's a far cry from 22 billion. However, a group of Microsoft employees urged the company to void the contract because the technology would be used to help people kill. Months later, in 2019, the workers said the company had failed to disclose to the engineers the intent of the software they are building. Wow, this is such... this is such an important topic. Honestly, this is such an important topic. People working on a version of the HoloLens had no idea that they were going to be applied to the military. That's a real problem, chat. We are alarmed that Microsoft is working to provide weapons technology to the US military, helping one country's government increase lethality using tools we build. 
We did not sign up to develop weapons, and we demand a say in how our work is used. It's a very strong statement right there, chat. Q bunny off. That is a very strong statement, isn't it? See plotline of Real Genius 1985 film. Real Genius 1985. Plotline of Real Genius. Uptight, uptight teenage prodigy enters a top engineering college, feels awkward among the freewheeling students. When a professor aims to turn their laser project into a military weapon, he and his offbeat roommate plot to ruin the plan. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Oh wow, Panther. Are we taking a break for that? This contract was fought for by Google, deleted don't don't buy evil, Microsoft and Amazon and others. Yeah, I bet. Okay, Panther. If you want it, you shall get it. Panther has redeemed chat. Panther has redeemed words on stream. Who here has never played words on stream? You can refuse. The CTA made me do it. <laughs> the question is, do you want to play? Do you want to play? That's the question. Oh, Maddles is here. Thanks for the vibes, Maddles. If you want to play, we'll play. I will honor the redemption. That's a silly question, isn't it? It's a trick question. Of course we're going to play. Of course we're going to play. Chat, we're going to play words on stream. Shoop. Here we go, chat. It has been a while. Indeed. I'll leave this up for a moment so we can gather all our friends here. Tell everyone you know, we are going to run. We're going to run words on stream. We'll see how the first session goes. If the first round, if the first session doesn't go well, we'll do a second one. Because I know it's been a long time. We're not warmed up, etc., etc. So I'll give you a minute to get set up. Reload the stream. Reload the stream to, to decrease lag. You know, use all of your tricks. Bring up your online dictionaries, your thesauruses. Get cracking on that because it is going to be it is going to be very challenging. It's going to be challenging. I'm not going to lie to you, chat. Jay Walter, you'd better save us from ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Better save us from ourselves, Jay Walter. Um, I don't know if anyone else is going to join. Give me a ready in chat when you are ready for me. We've got... Go on then, stop talking. We could try one of Acorn's games on Foonie. Chat versus Maddie in Connect 4. What? Maybe, uh, maybe Jens will do Foonie as a new reward when we get back from break. That could be cool. All right. Choose a platform. We've got four people ready. Here we go. The record is level 22, chat. So less talking, more words. Let's go. Oh wow, this is okay. Quicker, very nice tactics. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Require. <clears throat> uh, something with the K. Something with the K. Uh... Oh, Steffi already got quirk. There's still a six letter in there.
Oh, Cirque. Nice. Or Cirque. Very nicely done. Nicely done. Hmm. This is quite challenging for level one, isn't it? I just feel like it's a bit challenging for level one, chat. <laughs> uh, cure. So something with E? E, I, C, U. A, Q. There's something with E, maybe? Oh, rock. Very nice, Yost. Still a five letter to be had, chat? No? And we're gonna get it? Hmm. This is outrageously difficult for level one. But you did great, chat. We skipped three levels, so you know. Can't complain. A Q in level one. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Absolute yeah well okay chat let's continue we've got tactics yo steffi rugmat bot and white panther rugmat i think you're in the wrong account <laughs> but if you want to use your bot account that's fine that's not my problem let's go oh wow uh... lasagna Nasal glands. We're all locked. We're all locked. Saga. We're all locked. I'll grab snag. Galas. Gala. Yeah, don't forget you can like pluralize everything in this one. Oh, I'm still I'm still locked. Someone get sagas. Okay, I'll get it. No. Did I get it? Was I still locked? No. Oh, there's only one S. Never mind. Uh, Steffi, good job. There's only one S. Thank you, Rug My Bot. Snag. Snag. Mm, yeah, I have to put that one through. You're welcome. Tactics. I know, Steffi. Slang! Nicely done, Yoast. Good, good, good. Uh, and another five letter. Uh, uh, angle? There's no N. No, there is an N. N. Angas? What's with that five letter chat? What's that five letter? We should be able to get that. A S I don't know what it was. We're skipping two levels. That's all right. We're a bit low on players. <laughs> Garbage. Everyone ready? Oh, sorry, I bumped the mic. My bad. Okay, let's go. Tactics nicely done with slight rockmat bot with light Steffi with sight Yost with light White Panther with list Shit is surprisingly not in there Yes. 
Doing good, chat. Doing good. Forex joining the fray. Ian dropping, but not joining the fray. <laughs> you don't need to capitalize, by the way, Forex. You can just write lowercase. Gilts. Kill. Oh, I think you might have been locked, Forex. You might have been locks. <gasps> we did it, chat. We got all of them. Let's go. Nicely done. <laughs> nice. Okay. Amazing. We did it, chat. I mean, level nine, but yeah. <laughs> We're getting to level nine. Fake letter, chat. Fake letter. Fine. I'll say I'm sorry. No, be sincere. Oh, like Yen's using a I'm meme. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry. super risky, I'm Yen's. Sorry. I'm 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 sorry. Connect, which means the P is fake. P is fake, chat. Garbage. He is fake. He is fake. Nonce. Oh. Everyone's getting all the words I wanted. What is that five letter chat? P is fake, Yost. There's a five letter and a four letter left. Boom. Neon's the four letter. What's the five letter chat? Something with... They're alphabetical. So maybe something with T? Didn't get it, but it's okay. <laughs> we got almost all of them. Tactics. Absolutely smashing the leaderboard. 104 stars. Very impressive tactics. Should I reward people? What happens when I reward people? Hmm. Maybe some other time. Maybe it was token. Another fake letter. You play tournament Scrabble. Oh. Repair. Nicely done. Means the D is fake. Don't touch the D, chat. D is fake. As the announcer said, D is fake. Rapier. Very nice. I will do the one that will get everyone blocked. Oh, interesting. They took that one out. Family friends game, Maddie. Yeah, I know, Rugman. But I don't understand. We're what we're missing like something here because there must be a lot of I words or something. We're missing a ton of them, chat. Oh, someone do raid. Never mind. No. D is fake. Don't do it. Um, wow. 
What? We're missing the five letter words. We're missing the fives, chat. P R I something. Riper, Forex, nice saving the saving the round right there. Nicely done, Forex. Absolute clutch that time. Very nice. Forex, 17 stars that round. Nicely done. Tough one. Some tough words in there. Okay, Panther, you gotta you gotta pump up your brain or something. We're going to level 13. I think there's gonna be a hidden letter. Possibly. Everyone's fully stressed. I'm sweating. We're good. Okay, there's a fake letter and a hidden letter. Okay, spoon is good. S-P-O-O-N. So maybe the L is fake? The L might be fake then. The L is fake then... Something with spoon. I think the L is fake chat. Snoop. Nice. What could that hidden letter be though? Gotta find it, otherwise we're not gonna have a lot of opportunity. Yeah, don't use L chat. L is definitely fake. Uh Snoops. Pawns. Mm. No D? Not a D? <laughs> Poos. <laughs> not an E? What an A? Maybe an A word? And not an E? Soon. Try and get another letter in there, chat. I'm looking for chat. I'm looking if we see if I see one. It's an I. Oh my gosh, it's an I. Uh, spion, spoin. What's the what's ah oh, poison tactics? Nice. Just a couple more chat. We might get it. Lion. No. Pion? Pion? Oh, we got it! Rugmat got pins! Nice! Rugmat, full clutch. GG. Absolute clutch there. That's very impressive. You know what? <laughs> Nicely done, Rugmat. Solid. Absolute solid. Woo! I came in second that time. Okay, chat. <laughs> Level 14. Let's go. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. Again, hidden and a fake letter. Okay. Uh... Okay, mare and perm. Reef. Okay, the second one is not an R. Not a K. What could it be, chat? What could it be? Cause I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. Free. F-R-E-E. -E. Those are all on the board. M is safe. The P is safe. The C seems to be a suspect for fake letter. Oh my gosh, Chad. Oh. B. 
Beamer. The hidden letter is a U, chat. And C is fake. Yep. Anything with U. Uh... Oh, wow. Perfume tactics. Nicely done. One more, one more word and we've made it, chat. Rump. Maddles saving the day again. Oh, wow. Two more words. Nice. Nicely done, chat. Look at that. Look at that, chat. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Very, very impressive. I'm super impressed with all of you, chat. All right. So here we go. Hope you're all ready for level 16. Remember, hidden and fake letters. Hi, White Panther. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> uh... Oh, so many good guesses, chat. I can barely keep up with all the guesses. Only five letter words, no four letter words, chat. Ending by tactics. Uh, okay. Sending. The hidden letter is an S. The fake letter is one of the ends. No, sorry. One of the, f wait, the fake letter is the R. Yep, R is fake. R is fake and S is hidden. Uh, R fake, R, R fake, R fake, R is fake. Dings. Uh, Signed. Snide. Oh, really great words, chat. What's that last six letter word, though? Underneath singed. There we go. We're at 68 out of 77. We're very. Oh, 75 out of 77. Yes, we made it. Design. Yoast. Very nicely done there. Dines. And. We already had ending. Wow, we only missed three that time, chat. Wow, 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 wow. I think you got your money's worth, Panther. Tactics smashing at 168 stars. Very impressive. Are we ready? Level 18, chat. Let's go. The bot is better than you. <laughs> Sean. E is hidden. Nicely done with the vowel there. E is hidden. Okay. Stone could be the stony then. What's that? Use fake. Why can't why isn't stony working? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, the Y is definitely a valid one. It's going to be in quite a few. Honest. Yeah, I tried Stony Panther. It didn't work. Mm. Nosy. Stony. Ah, Stony without the E. Okay, fair enough. But what's that last one then? What's the sixth letter there? Synth. Oh, nice. Go. 
Shuni. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we made it, chat. We made it. It was tight, but we made it. We are getting devilishly close to that 22 rank top score. Chat. 20, level 22 is the highest we've ever made it on stream. It's just very impressive. Let's see if we can do it, chat. I believe in all of you. And if it doesn't happen, it's okay. in there. Tactics, what did you guess? Metal? Is that the one? Metal. Metal is tactics guess. So maybe metals? Hmm. M E T A L, those are all in there. The Z might be fake. <sighs> I didn't prepare you, chat. I forgot to tell you the answers would be hidden. Metal, metal, T mill. Tiles, metal, metal, timel, timel. Pedals, dial, ales, alias. That is fake, it's a C. C is the hidden letter, oh my gosh. Uh, climb it, Rugman. Nicely done. Climb. Oh, claim from Panther. Oh, that's not, we're not going to do it, chat. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Nicely done, though, chat. Give yourself a round of applause. Garbage. GG's chat. GG's. We were very close, but it it's it starts to get really, really hairy oh. after or, level 19. Or mm. when the answers are hidden, chat, yeah. that gets super difficult. It's just the way it is. Yeah, it gets really difficult. Oh yeah, let's check the leaderboard again. So we've got uh, Tactics smashing with 184 stars. Yo's coming in second, 130. Rugmat bot with 107. Rugmat with 85. Technically, we could count those together. And you would beat Tactics' score. <laughs> Although it's not, it's not allowed. Panther, you placed top five. Thank you for buying the round for everyone. I hope everyone enjoyed that. Not entirely fair. Back to the game. Back to the game. Microsoft has not officially issued any statement regarding the employee's concerns. Bedtime now, good time zone to you, White Panther. Thanks again for joining. And of course, let's do a last shout out for Panther. It started off as a joke, White Panther, and it seems to be a thing now. It is totally a thing. It is definitely a thing. Panther was doing what the framework I'll today? Just read the chat, read the chat, and wrap it up. I'll just read the chat and wrap it up. I oh. Panther. 
I mean, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this, but the US military using combat goggles powered by technology that was made by people that didn't, that were not aware that they were making things for the military. Its birthday was the last week, sometime. I the clips. Uh, oh no. So, I, I don't know if we can go deep enough. No. Maybe no, Twitch no, no. clips can become a thing. I'll start a new trend. <laughs> Start a new trend, T. D T. Drayson. Twitch clips could definitely be a thing. Last time, nine thousand workers from Google protested over military contrast. Oh wow! Yeah. Apparently, this wasn't enough. This wasn't enough. Pretty sure that's a sex joke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, it's past midnight already. Thank you, Stream Elements, for the reminder. All right, so. AI in the EU. We've been reading a lot about different machine learning and AI stuff. But guess what's, com guess what's coming? The Clotopus. The Clotopus is coming. No, what's coming is a proposed regulation in the EU about limiting the type of research that produces AI tools like GPT-3. So someone was mentioning before, uh, I think it was uh, Boss Fighter. Boss Fighter was talking about how humans are creating things that are inherently destructive by nature, like the atomic bomb. And so basically there is a proposed proposed rule set from the EU um, saying that they would like to limit the way that these models get created in the or tools get created in the first place obviously there's been a lot of critique about that that you know if you have an AI act as it's being called Open source developers would have to adhere to guidelines for risk management, data governance, technical documentation and transparency, as well as standards of accuracy and cybersecurity. And that's quite inhibitive in terms of innovation. Forex says, good night tomorrow morning. I have to leave early for Measure Camp Czechia. Fingers crossed for Maddie with the startup. Thank you very much, Forex. And, and do write me about um, Bratislava. As, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I will be driving there from Zurich. So I don't know where you're coming from, Forex, but car sharing is definitely something I'm open to doing. I already uh, mentioned it in the Measure Slack community, uh, if anyone would be going there. So we could definitely car share if you'd be, if you'd be up for that. Um, you're in Prague. Ah, uh, okay, that's not super convenient then, is it? I mean, I'll be coming over Austria and Munich. So not so much on the way. <laughs> Safe travels to you. Have a great time there. Um, you take the train, it's more comfortable. That's true. There's more space. All right. So, um, so if a company were to deploy an open source AI system that led to some disastrous outcome, then it's not inconceivable that the company could attempt to deflect the responsibility by suing the open source developers with that framework because they have to adhere to those guidelines. So yeah, basically the criticism of this is saying that it would concentrate power over the future of AI in large technology companies rather than allowing individual smaller researchers to do this. Um, I mean, ultimately, it comes down to us trying to create trustworthy AI, which I don't know if that's even a thing. Can we even create AI that is trustworthy? Isn't a system inherently distrustworthy or worthy of distrust because it was created by humans? You know what I mean, Chad? I don't know. It seems a bit... I don't know. It seems a bit weird. So in a recent example, 
Stable Diffusion, which we were just talking about before, about these generative art ones, right? Was released with a license that prohibit certain types of content. However, it very quickly found, a lot of people found quickly that it could be used to create pornographic deepfakes of celebrities. So, you know, just because you have a license saying, please don't do this with our AI, doesn't mean that people are actually going to adhere to that. Does it mean that, you know? Disappointing. Very disappointing. Um, <clears throat> the road to regulation hell is paved with the EU's good intentions. Open source developers should not be subject to the same burden as those developing commercial software. It should always be the case that free software can be provided as is. Consider the case of a single student developing an AI capability. They cannot afford to comply with EU regulations and may be forced not to distribute their software, thereby having a chilling effect on academic progress and reproducibility of scientific results. That's exactly the problem. If you emburden these people, open source developers, into adhering to all of these guidelines, then they it may just completely destroy innovation. Which would be really Another sad, actually. powerful reason for insisting on Intel Inside. Yeah, it's another reason to insist on Intel. Ha! Not sponsored. So, e-regulators should focus on specific AI stuff. Like, uh, there's too much uncertainty, so they should look at something like autonomous vehicles, or bots, or toys. Hmm. Interesting article, I have to say. It's a very long article. We're not going to read through the whole thing. <clears throat> Given the many... This is a good conclusion, though. Given the many moving parts involved in EU rulemaking, not to mention the stakeholders affected by it, it'll likely be years before AI regulation in the block starts to take shape. This pretty much sums up where we're going with this is that there probably will be I, I mean chat what do you think but i think at some point there will be some form of ai regulation it's just a question of what what shape will it take and yeah like what what will it regulate exactly hmm. anyway i think it's time to move on chat what do you think hmm you still awake, chat? <laughs> it is getting late. This is the drop-off period in my viewership. Around the sort of midnight to half past midnight mark is where there's a sort of transition period in my viewership. I don't know why that is. Maybe I have to go to the, like the time zones and check what time it is everywhere right now. I've actually never done that. So it's currently 618 in New York. It's three something in Los Angeles. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. We're rapidly approaching or passing the point where this isn't a national continental problem. The issues are global. Yes, they are tactics. Very much so. Yost made a bagel with blue cheese, ham, and mustard, lots of butter, and toasted. Ooh, that sounds. Oh, I just got hungry, Yost. <laughs> but I had I had a proper dinner, so I shouldn't eat again. Hmm. Well, I would like to make show you all another sad article. No AI was involved in the making of this bagel. There should also be more and better laws for cybersecurity. Vicious. That is, it, it's like you've seen through what I'm going to mention next. Patreon confirms security team layoffs. This has made me slightly concerned as a creator on Patreon. 
Patreon has confirmed it has laid off five employees from its security team. The initial speculation was that the, re the entire security team has been laid off. Um, so Emily Metcalf, former senior security engineer at Patreon, said on a LinkedIn post on Thursday, so for better or worse, I and the rest of the Patreon security team are no longer with the company. According to a tweet, Metcalf joined the company in November 2021. She could not be reached for comment. Um, Patreon's US policy head Ellen Satterwhite confirmed the five layoffs but declined to answer our questions or say how many employees it had on the security team prior to the layoffs. Interesting. Okay. Following the news of the layoffs, security professionals across the industry began posting open job listings for those who lost their jobs at Patreon. Thousands of tech jobs, including cybersecurity, have been lost this year across the tech industry. Patreon is a blah, blah, blah. Very interesting. This is a little bit concerning, but I want to believe that there's like a good reason for them doing this. I mean, there's never a good reason for laying people off, let's be honest. But there has to be some kind of reason that's reasonably justified for them to lay off five people at once from a security team. I can't judge if they're competent or not, but yeah, I mean, there are five employees who were doing a job, so it's a bit weird. What's not weird is the final article in today's Data Cafe series, which is the most hopeful article that I found of this entire week. As I said, it was going to be a roller coaster today, chat. And we got there. Look at this article. New machine learning algorithm identifies undiagnosable cancers. Did you ever want to read something more positive? This is amazing news. Amazing. The first stage in deciding the best therapy for a cancer patient is identifying their exact form of cancer, which includes pinpointing the main site, organ, or portion of the body where the disease develops. Even with rigorous testing, the cause of cancer cannot always be established. Although these cancers of unclear origin are often aggressive, oncologists must treat them with non-targeted medicines, which typically have severe side effects and result in low survival rates. So they developed a new machine learning technique at the MIT's Koch Institute for Integrative Cancer Research and the Massachusetts General Hospital, which may aid in classifying cancers of the unknown by examining gene expression programs associated with early cell development and differentiation, which I don't know the first thing about, but effectively using machine learning to do something good is a win in my book, chat. I don't know about you, but this was a pretty cool article that I read. I was like, okay, this is super good. This is really a good thing. And I'm glad that machine learning can be used for good and not only creating goggles to help people uh, kill other people more. You know what I mean? Like that, the, the military thing was a bit grim. And this is like, yeah, this uh, is a lot more positive. Now, I don't understand like how this works exactly. There's a little explanation here. Uh, let's see if I can find it. You okay, chat? You're very quiet. You alright? You doing okay, chat? We're almost over. We're almost done. The stream will be over Garbage. Soon. Still worrying about that Patreon security team. Hey, chat dev. Good to see you. What did they do? Yos is killing zombies while eating a bagel. Um, yeah, Chad, that's also my thing is like, they did something bad or 
they're downsizing by taking some kind of external organization. You know what I mean, Chad? Like I don't I don't see I don't see any other I don't see any other outcome. You know what I mean? I, those are like the two options for me. I I don't see I don't see a different option. Yeah, so um announcing the security team is gone sounds like a prime way to get hackers attention yeah i don't know i mean you know ultimately maybe that's what they want maybe they're trying to red team themselves or something i don't know vicious recently read an article that big tech is predicting another crisis and already laying off staff but i mean come on vicious like security personnel first surely they would have gotten rid of marketing or they have like this thing called the a club which is like a creators program surely they would have gotten rid of that first you know like i don't, I don't understand like a, uh you know like i it doesn't make any sense to me to to to, to yoink the security team not enough threats that need humans. I don't know. No idea, to be honest with you. Why? No clue. Why? 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 Security is also the first thing why? most companies disregard. Security, hence why I said we need better laws. We do. I agree with you. 100%. I agree that we need better laws. Most definitely. Really. All right, so complicated but interesting um yeah outcome of the study is very interesting the study found that lung derived tumor cells had substantial parallels not just to the foregut but also to the mid and hindgut derived de developmental trajectories these findings imply that variations in developmental programs may one day be used in the same manner that genetic mutations are frequently used to generate tailored or targeted cancer therapies and the thing is, I didn't understand like the, the negative side because they talked about that too. While the work provides a robust technique for tumor classification, it does have certain drawbacks. In the future, researchers intend to improve the prediction value of their model by including more forms of data, namely information from radiography, microscopy, and other types of tumor imaging. So I don't really, I don't get like what the negative is like how it has drawbacks i don't know maybe it's just the method is not accurate enough yet it's okay ah right sorry there was a thing up here using available methods oncologists could not locate a tumor mass or categorize cancer cells however the dmlp strongly predicted ovarian cancer six months after the patient originally came a lump in the ovary was discovered to be the source of malignancy ah but that sounds positive actually Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I need to read the article again. I didn't quite understand the negatives, to be honest with you, Chad. But you know, that's... Uh, ultimately, what can I say? I think, uh, I think it's a really interesting thing using machine learning in medicine. And I would really welcome more research and more applications of machine learning and, and artificial intelligence in the medical area. Although I know that it brings, you know, privacy discussions to the forefront. I know that it raises a lot of like ethical questions sometimes. Like if you, if you could build a machine learning model that with a large degree of accuracy could predict whether a unborn child is going to have a birth defect should you abort the child for example it's just super super tricky and not things to talk about on stream probably but good things to think about things that we should challenge ourselves to think about so listen chat i think it is the end We've covered all the articles. 
We have played words on stream. We have entertained ourselves suitably with memes. I think it is time to say goodbye for a significant amount of time. To be honest with you. Wait, all the zombies aren't dead. It's true. Not yet. Not yet. But Yost, you have Garbage. plenty of time. You'll have plenty of time. Now CSS on free code camp? No, Steffi. <laughs> I am exhausted. I am absolutely exhausted. But don't worry, I'm going to take you all somewhere with energy. I can smell the creative juices. Yum, 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 yum. I'm going to take you all somewhere with energy and Friday's edition of Data Cafe. Oh my god. Ooh, that's not good. Look at this. Look at this. Twitch is broken again. Look, look. No one can stream when the website is like this. Why would anyone want to stream? Yeah, look at this. Everything is completely just completely effed up. Oh my god. Wait. Yeah. You know what I think we should do though? I think that we should not play that music. I think that we should play a much better track. Garbage. Mm hmm. It's been a long time since we played the outro. But it makes sense to play the outro. Please, 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 chat. Take care of yourselves. Whatever you do, wherever you're going, over the next few weeks when we don't see each other, take care of yourselves. <laughs> that is... That is not a pure black background roadmap, but I appreciate the intent. I appreciate the intent very much. Yes, we'll be going there. Um, we'll be going there. It's been a while since we've raided them. So, we will definitely go. <laughs> there. Thank you to uh, the new follows. Potato Bandit Cat, Sodium Overdose, and Sam Kit Cat, who's also a new member of the stream team, by the way. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you, Rugmat and Bad Cop and Social Steve and Coil as well for the bits. Thanks to Dr. Dynamite, that's actually for you. Thank you for gifting the sub. And finally, thank you for resubscribing. I appreciate it. I cannot believe that I'm taking another break. <laughs> I can't believe it, but it's happening. And we will be seeing each other on the other side. I wish all of you well. Garbage. And I look forward to seeing you all again in a few weeks. Oh, Ali is ending. We need to abort. We need to make a different different decision <laughs> yeah thank you rugmat we need to make a different decision that's fine we're not going to go there where ali is going we're going to go somewhere else don't worry i got y'all fam safe bet all wow. the other amazing her name is ending with ali shame on you steffi see you all next time Bye-bye.